A sacrifice seduced for the altar of your vanity. A jealous, hungry God craving praises of profanity. With bedroom dark and dine and a deep mouth stained with wine, it drinks. It's filled. It was your mother's, not your brother's, that agreed to feed you poison. This egregious lack of choice indeed seemed fit to join your voice in. With lies disguised as prizes of reason and wisdom, with briberies of finery to weaken any criticism. Can the fly invade the blossom that devours it? A mouth that lies in wait for a gift of life to shower in. All right, we are back and we're on episode session seventy-three, episode seventy-three. Um, to a quick refresher, last session, um, you guys had ended it essentially being politely kicked out of the house of Tiberius Gracchus. Um, he has officially launched his campaign to be elected Tribune. Um, and you were basically tasked to prove that you could, that you were worthy of being Camillus's clients. And what he asked you to do was to insert yourself into his life and to, uh, Help his campaign and his, uh, if he gets elected, to help him uh, achieve his goals. And you must do it without revealing that you are vampires. You must maintain the silence of the blood. On the same night, I think. Hey, was it the same night we went and see the human? Or That's was Tiberius. It the night after. The human yeah. is Tiberius. Tiberius. Was it the next night uh, we saw Tiberius or uh, went to Tiberius, I should say? You saw Camillus, then there was a gap of like three or four nights, oh, okay. and in that time you saw Ihamus, and then you saw Tiberius. Okay. And we froze, freeze uh, water. There was, unfo yes, an unfortunate <laughs> incident where... Um, Albina's supernatural uh, chill froze the wine in her glass and made it uh, pop out of the cup. It's and yet time. you were basically he said, uh, you brought an unclean spirit thing into my house. Maybe you should leave and go get cleansed and uh, take care of that before you even uh, talk about trying to help me. I think our plan is to capitalize on that uh, one tiny unlucky moment, right, guys? So, we're going to fast forward one night. You have uh, gained a willpower point back. You spend a blood point to wake up. So, you are refreshed, up, awake... The news on the street uh, is that there are six or seven people campaigning for a spot as a tribune. There are three open tribune spots to be had. And uh, Tiberius Gracchus is uh, one of them. Okay. And how, uh, how long... Well, how, how far is it uh, to the end of the campaign? Uh, approximately three weeks. Okay, so we got three weeks. Uh, how is this working out? Uh, you said that there were six people competing for free spots. Correct. Is it like that they naturally formed uh, competing pairs, or it's just like free bets? There it's, is no natural yeah. division like this. It, it's, it's whoever can get the most... What it is, is it's whoever gets a, uh, enough votes 
the way the way Rome does their elections for this, um, you have to achieve a certain percentage of the vote in order to be elected. Is is the vote ma vote made by uh, citizens or senate? Just citizens, and Just and citizens. for um for this position, which is a plebeian position. Those of patrician heritage cannot vote. So I can vote for this. Uh, if you appear during the day, sure. Oh, okay, I have to appear in the day. Okay. <laughs> uh... Um, I guess this means that we do. We know who who the competition is. Yes. Um, the only other real competition. Um, there's a couple of guys who are like distant third and fourth. Um, Tiberius is uh, easily a front runner to be elected, and the other guy is a man named Marcus Octavius. Marcus Octavius. I'm gonna take a note of that. Um, I have a question about that Marcus uh, Octavius. Okay. Uh, do we? Is there a chance that we might know if he is supported by a certain kindred or? I don't know, boosted by a certain kindred? I believe you're going to have to look into that. Okay. Before that, there was one thing that I wanted to do. Right in the okay. Because, because I was, before all things went down, I was able to make, to put a rough ballpark in where mm. that uh, bold one came from. And in light of some other things that were uncovered, that's concerning. I think it might be worth um, heading to my clanmate about it. Okay, sounds like a plan. So let's do that first. And then we will circle back to what everyone else is uh, talking about doing. <laughs> right, so you um, show up at his uh, domain uh, as a essentially a family member by now almost. Uh, you are treated very familiarly, brought in. Uh, naturally, the servants uh, offer themselves to you to slake your hunger. And, of course, you are brought before uh, the altar of Setite guests in order to uh, make an offering to Set. And <laughs> it does take some time before Ahamas is ready to see you. He has things he, he he must do, and although he is not impolite, it, it does take him several yeah. hours to be ready. Uh, yeah, it's understandable. Some sometimes things just happen. So, but he does eventually around midnight get over to see you, and uh, he sits down with you uh, with only the single dim candle that you are uh, come to expect. Mm -hmm. And he lays down on the cushions and he says, so what brings you to my place twice so soon? Well, I'm afraid that uh, this one is something of, of concern. You may remember the uh, the trinket I found uh, before. I do. Ow, uh, hold on. <laughs> oh shit! He's abducted. S sorry, I just had to um, close the door. To... <laughs> well, no, that's, that was. But anyway, um. I, sus I cannot entirely be certain of it, but I have suspicions that I may have that 
I and my coterie may have inadvertently come across uh, the one to whom it originally belonged. And where would this be? Well, it would just so happen that we met this one while while conversing with Tiberius Gracchus. Gracchus? Is he the one who's talking about taking people's land away? Something mm, about uh, redist yeah. redistributing the public land back to veterans? Yes, that... Uh... That is, um, that is a large part of his, uh, whole thing, yes. Well. As a man of great political power, uh, he would, uh, of, and given his professed views, I see he would attract others of political might and... Unfortunately, we cannot uh, cannot conclusively say that it is what we think it is, but we cannot rule it out either. There, there is a further complication to it all. I'm listening. During the whole affair, we had to be careful to try and conceal the fact that we were not able to properly partake of the uh, food and drink. This fell into an unfortunate mishap when Albina was drinking. You may have noticed her uh, peculiar quirk of uh, the chill. Yes, I have. Yeah, so, um, needless to say, needless to say, if it is what we think, then she, then this, this, uh, mysterious adversary may now be a bit more, just a little bit more clued in to the things that are going on in the night. Mm. So, I... Assume you mentioned it because it became uh, apparent. Was something obvious happened? Oh yes, I should have been more clear. Ah. Um, uh, as embarrassing as it might sound, the she brought the wine glass a little too close. Well, the children of Osiris are a by and large, reactionary group. They do not focus on those who have not assaulted them. So, I, Albina should be safe. True. It, it is still a concern, though. Particularly mm -hmm. since, well, the point comes up that if I was able to identify uh, her, where she, her likely coming from our homeland, then, well, she might have done the same to me. I am going to speak to some of my contacts and see if I can arrange for his house to be watched. Not because I care so much about Tiberius, but if this person is a frequent visitor. It will allow me to begin to trace her activities. Of course. We are going to be trying to gain contact with him more ourselves, so I will, of course, keep an eye out for any more information about this.
Sorry, I cut out a second there. It's okay. Just, uh, I would caution you about actually imbibing anything which passes close to them. If our suspicions are correct, their magic is potent in medallions and potions. Indeed. You have the edge in instant effects. If if it comes down to a fight and it is you versus her in a fight of you versus her make sure that you strike first and you strike hard of course and it will it will certainly be a significant help to my other character members there Regardless, this is the main bulk of uh, what I wanted to discuss. I, it is perhaps a short bit of business, but I felt nonetheless important. I appreciate the uh, news. Do not fear if you should see somebody spying on his household that you don't recognize. Uh, only fear if they attempt to follow you as well. Because they might be working for me. Of course. I, I should... I should get back to my own business now. Um, I'm certain you have plenty of business of your own to attend to. For now, good evening, brother. Good evening. The thick plottons. <laughs> anyway, um, I will be right back. I need to check on food. Okay. So, moving back to uh, in that vein, moving back to the rest of our group, uh, Hatchet said ducks out pretty quickly after she rises leaving you guys to only with the word that she must talk to her clanmate. And she's gone for several hours. In the meantime, what are you guys up to? Does anyone, does anyone have suggestions? Plan, plan. We need to figure out uh, what are his chances currently and uh, determine what can possibly be uh, disruptive to this. Uh, I, I one thing in my mind. Uh, we can go and try to investigate which kindred is influencing Marcus Octavius, because I'm pretty sure there is one such kindred. Like, there's no chance a vampire isn't helping him. Uh, that's that's uh, that's obviously a, a good move. Uh, furthermore, uh, we shouldn't just limit ourselves to Marcus Octavius exactly. because uh, democracy has a nasty history of the unexpected uh, third person winning at the last stretch. That's true. It's uh... there's probably a kindred help, uh, at least one kindred helping. Every one of them, I would imagine. I'm definitely to some degree sure too. of influence. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's definitely several kindreds helping each of these candidates. And I do think um, that we should learn all of them. But I think it is best to learn Marcus Octavius's influencer before the rest, because Obviously, he is the biggest uh, competitor. We should not just look at political enemies. We should look also at those that have more practical reasons to be against him. Those that have land in excess that see themselves uh, being reduced in their power 
should the re reforms come to pass? Mm. Well, the main reason to perhaps look into the others is to perhaps find a way to not only endear ourselves to uh, Tiberius, but perhaps, uh, what's the word? Um, do the opposite with the others, like try and make sure he's the front runner. If you understand where I'm going, yeah, encourage yeah, those who have doubts. Uh, see which groups are susceptible to his ideas and make sure they vote for him. Hmm. Um, I'm I'm actually curious what's how the underworld of Rome is reacting to to this to this new political presence. Uh, how would they fear if he won or not? Um, can you please just remind me if uh, Tiberius was insisting on future capitalizing land or if he was insisting on giving the land back to the plebeians? I believe that's uh, something you're going to discuss with him. Okay. Like idea. Tiberius himself? Yes. Um, I also have uh, another thing in my mind. Um, I do think that uh, maybe if we can influence uh, these smaller competitors, uh, you know, the smaller danger to him, um, maybe we can try to pull them on our side. Well, out of character, uh, Chris, uh, can several uh, leaders in this competition come together and um, add their votes to each other no. and then choose one person among them? No. They... Okay. Okay. Uh, then it doesn't really matter. They, they cannot make an alliance. They cannot, they cannot make an alliance, so it doesn't really matter. No, no. Yeah. Not at, no, this, not at that level, anyway. Even if at other it's not possible, uh, more informal agreement might be uh, possible to be reached. Your, your voice is cut. Cutting. Even if uh, outright coalition is not possible, a more informal agreement might be reached. Perhaps. Uh, are you guys hearing anything? I'm yeah. listening. Okay. Oh, it's on my then. Uh, the problem is on me then. Uh... Hmm. Well, there's always the option of, um, I don't know, trying to, I don't know, something along the lines of sending people undercover. To, I, I suppose, in Verticomers, endear themselves to the others and try and learn their secrets and try and use that to exploit them. I, I, I guess, would it be a little too it's obvious? Cute. Would it be too obvious if some of these uh, people started disappearing or or cancelling their campaign? Would it, would it be a little too suspicious? Yes, it would be very suspicious, especially that Tiberius knows who we are and we already asked some inconvenienced questions hinting that they, uh, the other side may, may play dirty, to which he stalwartly opposes that it's not taking place or at least he's not, he's not willing to admit it publicly. But um, so, does he, he doesn't know who we all are. Uh, yeah, that's true, but I think that if it would start happening, he would put two to two, and uh, I think we would be shooting ourselves in the foot. What yeah. we should do, rather, is to make sure they are not playing dirty in any way. So, uh, having some contacts in all of the uh, uh, involved parties is useful, um, more to uh, 
uh, see if they're not using any kind of uh, dirty tricks, uh, faulty rhetorics, or or similar things. Yeah, perhaps, I mean... perhaps take one off to the side and uh, influence them. AKA you know, cool. Uh, I mean, it's or, it's, a or blood bond. it's a two-edged sword to do something like that. It can more be blood helpful. Bond. Just a sword. I mean, I think ghouling will be a better option than actually bonding them because it's like borderline addiction level, and uh, I don't know if they will still have the. You cannot do one without doing the other. Too ghoulish to bond. Unless they have, unless they are unbondable. One step blood bond, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, not not like I'll, three blood. I worship you and all that stuff, but yeah. just enough so that they're like, you know, like, oh. I'll listen. I mean, to I um, I'm not sure if you discussed it while I was checking on things, but um, there is of course the whole, there is of course also just the avenue of focusing on buffing our candidates up. Mm. Yes, without a doubt, that's that's not ex. It's it's not exclusive yeah. with what we're currently discussing. I, I I just want to make sure that you know that wasn't being ignored. Oh, of course, that's uh, going to be the practice. I think that's our job. We, if we can find the kindreds behind these people and then try to hinder them as much as possible from helping these people, it might be enough for us Your to. You know, you, this does rely on the assumption, however, that kindred that there will be kindred having that much of an influence on it. Wait, you, I, Het is with us right now? She's uh, back. I, it's been several hours. She's yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. I suppose the main thing to do right now is decide on our first plan of attack. I so I think I think attacking whatever method it might be metaphorically. Is, yeah, metaphorically. Even metaphorically, I think attacking isn't a thing we should do right now. I think we should just gather information first, yeah, uh, no, assess okay. assess the situation, and then we can uh, go for an action. Decide what we're going to do. I suggest we be wary of the bold woman. I have a bad feeling about her. I I have my means to you know just get her in our presence somewhere in the city, but I think we do not want to do that. So I don't really have any other way to help beyond that, other than you know just keeping one eye, one of my eye on her, when she is within my point of view. Mm. I mean, I think Alpina would have the means to just spy on her without being noticed, assuming that she doesn't have some unknown, mysterious, supernatural powers that can just, you know, get rid of Albina. I I think I think actively playing our hand in this would be a mistake. Keep a passive keep an eye on her, yes, but actively do not actively follow her. Great. And right. I I need to check again, be right back. Okay. Then then I yeah. Just that we just try to find who is behind, uh, which vampire is behind Octavius. Just investigate. That can be done behind the scenes. Whereas, um, you guys obviously should um, talk further with Tiberius and see where he wants to go with his campaigning, see what we can do to help him. Be able to spy on these Octavius. If not, I might get approached by whoever's behind him. Should there be someone behind him? 
Yeah, that, that might be the case. I mean, there, there has to be someone contacting with Octavius so that this kindred possibly supporting him, uh, you know, would uh, give information and help him. There must be some sort of connection, either through a, you know, uh, proxy guy, a contact information dealer or whatever, or just mm -hmm. himself appearing in Octavius's house, villa, and talking with him. Either case, there has to be a physical connection that we can just find at some point, in, investigate and find, and then just backtrack from there. Damn character, I wish I had contacts. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, so I think this would be a good time to roll um, wits plus investigation plus your contacts rating. Okay. I have no investigation, so that's plus one. Well, I hope it's not. Contacts. Uh, let's see. Can we actually make the roll even if we don't have contacts? Yes, you can. Contacts just adds, gives you extra dice. Yep. So wits plus... What was the roll again, sorry? Investigation. Investigation. Alright, All right, let's see how we go with that. I know, not a roll we make very often, but it's going to become more and more important. So that's, Ooh. Uh, that's not a botch. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, Agatha, with one success, it's just like, yeah, they're campaigning. <laughs> yeah. I will be making mine momentarily. I just have to set it up. Right. Oh, Nicodemus nice. and Laviana, both with three successes. The, uh, there are, what well, basically you have heard that they have all hired a number of, uh, news readers and essentially, um, people to go out and spread their word amongst the masses. Uh, so, obviously these are people of varying skill levels, um, you can think of them as door-to-door -door canvassers. Uh, I'm here to encourage you to vote for Tiberius Gracchus. Have you heard the good word of what he can do for you? Uh, but they're doing it very publicly. They go amongst the streets. They're giving speeches. Um, preaching from street corners. Going into the bars. Uh, preaching on the docks. Wherever they can gather a crowd. Oh, cannabis camp hiding. Um... But that's a very normal thing to do, right? It is. Um, but Tiberius, by virtue of his absolutely unbelievably enormous fortune, um, is hiring a lot of them. And Marcus Octavius is somehow keeping up with them. Which is weird, I guess. Uh, which is actually something I wanted to ask before you t told that. Um, is Marcus known for being rich? Uh, publicly, at least? Or for the past few years, was he known as being rich? Uh, I don't know. Or... Maybe you should uh, add that to your list of stuff to check out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's... Well, that is then something I would actually share with the group. So, assuming you guys share your results from the role with us. Yes. Um, so, oh, yeah. he is kind of keeping up with Tiberius financially, which mm -hmm. is 
to me a little weird. But then again, I don't really know much about Marcus. So maybe we should see if this money is coming from himself, a normal money, or if it is a little suspicious resource income. Uh, what what being financed by a group? Uh, so obviously, there's a group that doesn't want any of Gracchus's reforms. Uh, oh yeah, that's and, well known, very well known. Yeah, it, would it would it be any kind of shady or unlawful as far as the election goes for such party to uh, support uh, Octavius's campaign? Oh, not at all. That's common practice. There's your big mystery. So basically, the, the key word is that they're matching. So they see that he has a huge investment. They are trying to cope with that. So uh, the chances are. Uh, is, is there something like... Uh, so what's the current uh, so what's the current uh, like chances for Tiberius to win? Is he like are there like polls uh, or, or, or other methods of uh, gouging uh, public opinion? Uh, is he in favor? Uh, how how big of a loss does Octavius has to him or maybe he's the favor? Okay, this is going to be an extended role for you. Um... This is, essentially, you have to go out and ask the question. There's, there's no central authority that you can go and consult here. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess can it I... means that, uh, I guess it means that one has to go to heavily uh, populated places, like, and just ask people around, what's the, what's the word? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I guess I could... Uh, ask uh, Gregorius to ask around the those people that uh, visit the the collegia. That would probably give some another angle. Okay, so uh, have Gregorius roll his charisma plus his investigation uh, plus his allies plus his contacts. Can I can I do the same thing? Is it, is it possible for me to do the same thing, Chris? Yeah, but remember to limit it to your roam dice pools. Yep, yep. Now, this is this doesn't this isn't something you can do in an hour. This is hours upon hours upon hours of work, like yeah, multiple nights. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guess we um, would know from this angle. That's a fail, though. Not a uh, botch. Well, according to Gregorius, the people who is split 50-50. And it really kind of depends on how much money they have. Um, do we... Okay, do we want us... Uh, you know, do we want to... Do, do this ourselves too, and not just leave it with Gregorius, or do we want to do something else? Well, that's why I had said to add your contacts and your allies. No, I, I meant like, should we make the roles to in character? Essentially, asking if you want to do make, if you want to make the roles too. That's up to you guys. Like if if you, tell if me. you want, if, well, if you want to take our time to do this, look, what do you guys I, think? I I have a different angle to approach uh, angle to approach this whole thing from yeah What's the okay i would like to hear albina's angle first <clears throat> oh sorry cut out for a second there yeah my yes. angle is to... yes. sorry go ahead no no i was gonna say go 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 ahead albina So, my aim was to try to get some uh, more info on this uh, Marcus guy and his backings. His backing will be to try to make uh, insert a spy inside his house, ho household. 
by means of um, Eyes of the Abyss. Okay. You uh, will need to go ahead and make the roll to summon said creatures. Calling up the uh, discipline here. Yeah, first I'll a uh, fear frenzy check. I uh, see a candle in her hand. Alright, uh, so make roll courage at difficulty four. Ooh. Oh no, oh no. Okay, Albana, you retreat. To the cellar there is an area that you have cordoned off just for your ritual contemplations uh, uncontaminated by unbelievers in the majesty of the abyss it's just you you sit down with your ritual accoutrements your black robes uh, which are extremely expensive, uh, draped around you, and you kneel down in front of the uh, portal that you have inscribed on the ground, the lit candle, and you put your palm on it, and your beast is like, no, no, I'm not doing this. No, 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 no. And uh, from upstairs, all of, uh, all of you guys hear a uh, screech of, a fuck and just like pure fear and then pound 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 and something's pounding at the door to the cellar so it's a trap door starts bouncing up and down and Mercurio's uh leaning on top of it and he has um his gladius shoved through the rings uh on the trap door uh and he's like no <laughs> no, we're not opening this door. <laughs> and this is pure, per, per Albina's instructions, just in case something like this happens. Alright, what about Albina herself? Uh, she is screaming, gibbering. Um, the beast is snarling in fear. Eventually the pounding stops. Um, oh, now you're on Road of the Abyss, right? Let me look this up. Yes. Let's look up the road. I kind of missed that. Why was she rolling courage in the first place? For the ritual yeah. she has to do. Yeah. yeah. Alright, pleasure, other paths, minor. Yeah, was, uh, oh, Jesus, that's in your list. It's in the somber section, isn't it? Ugh. Let me scroll to the back of the book. There it is. What I wrote of the abyss. Okay. Showing aversion, needlessly avoiding, letting morality hinder your study. Uh, you're not level 5, are you? No. Okay. I'm level okay. 3. No, I think you're good. Mm, don't they start showing aversion to the abyss? Well, this isn't an aversion. This is your beast took over and you frenzied. Okay. Um, that was aversion to fire, not aversion to the abyss. <laughs> the big, big difference there. Eventually, the pounding stops. Mercury opens the cellar door. He descends into the darkness and draws Albana's hood over her head so that none of you can see her face. And he picks her up and takes her to her private quarters. And he returns and he says, uh, Yeah, that didn't really work. It, um, you're going to have to figure out something else. She, she needs to rest a little bit. Fair enough. I guess I will. What, what did I she will... try to do? Oh, sorry. 
out of character, she, she tried to summon an abyssal spirit, and which requires snuffing out a candle flame, and she failed the courage roll. In character, she went to go do some sort of abyssal shit, and it backfired. <laughs> and that's all you need to know. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go along with my plan, which was in a bit of a broader vein. I want to, uh, well, first of all, what are the skies like right now? Uh, rainy. It's a drizzly, soaking kind of rain. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Okay, I think it's settled now. Um, okay. So, raining, right? Correct. All right, then. I guess I should clear that up. Well, hmm. Um. Yeah, like, r rain occasionally, you know. There's occasionally gaps in rain, in rain so. Yeah, it, it comes be... and goes and comes and goes. Yeah, I, yeah, so. Um. So this is a uh, yeah, level two. Like... You're trying to clear it up. This is level two. Yep. So it's your, I believe, willpower roll at difficulty five. I believe so, yes. Two fuck. Okay, it takes about an hour and a half. Um, and the storm begins to pass, and the clouds break up. And I think you know what I wanted to do next. Yep. So that's going to be, I believe, Perception plus Occult. Uh, actually, it's going to be... Uh, first, it's going to be Intelligence and Hearth Wisdom, Astronomy. Or Astrology, sorry. And then you're going to add the num those number of successes to your occult roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Assuming I don't botch anyway. That's a great roll for you. Mm-hmm. And then perception occult. Oh, shit, I forgot to add the extra dice. Uh, roll okay, five I'll more. Just... Yeah, just roll five more. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually Enigma. It's not a cult, but it's it's all good. All right, so... Ask me... What is the question? What are you studying? What questions are you asking your charts? Okay, I suppose first one. What? How do things look for Tiberius's campaign overall? Uh, his campaign looks excellent. The, the stars speak extremely favorably of it. Well... Is the greatest danger to him from within? Do any unnatural forces besides us, obviously, are any um, exerting influence over the situation? That's tough. Um, <laughs> that's an extremely broad question. Hmm. Um, the omens speak um, as if the heavens themselves are watching this happen. 
uh, as a practical matter, you could say that there are many, many influences looking over this. Okay, to narrow it down a bit more. So I'll, I mean, I'll give you one more. Yeah, one more. Ooh. Should I ask something relevant to the group or personal? <sighs> Keep it to the group now. Are any vampires, are any other vampires ex uh, working in influence on, over this situation? And if so, yeah, sort of, okay. obviously not, it isn't going to give exact, any exact details, but... Okay, so here, you are reading the stars, and what you see in the stars as you're reading them, you see the figure of the wolf, which could represent Rome, but it also represents a clan fighting amongst itself. You see... Um... I'm trying to think of how the Egyptians phrase phrase this, and I really don't know enough about it to say to say yes or no. Um, you see, the uh, constellation which represents Apep or Apophis <coughs> um, encircling uh, in the patterns of the wolf. You see. Uh, the constellations of the eagle, which again could represent Rome, but might represent a clan, uh, soar and both hurt and triumph over the situation. Interesting. So, Ihamas yeah, might be having it have a bit more to do with this than I've realized, and also Dangle might be involved, or Apep could be be something else. What's chew on there? Um. Yeah. How it's gonna note that note down um, what she's seen, and um, just look to the others. While it isn't entirely clear, some of these s stars seem to suggest potentially Gangrel may the Gangrel may be involved in this whole affair at least, perhaps. Also, <laughs> they, the stars seem to suggest that the greatest danger to Siberius did not come from any of his opponents. Or at least, none that are openly opposing him. Hey, from there. The bald woman? That's one possibility. Us? Uh, the... I would be surprised if that were the case, seeing as we're mostly attempting to figure it, but perhaps um, the answer the stars gave was within. Okay. Well, well the limits be... are range. Maybe himself? Maybe the thing where he's contained? Yeah, it could be either one. Well, did he have a brother who was short in temper? Perhaps Ooh. this would be a problem. Okay. Maybe it is. But it could also give us, I suppose, another reason to at least keep more of an eye on this history woman. Um, about your question, uh, Nicodemus, uh, I do remember that once we entered the house and saw the brothers, uh, Tiberius's brother was you know, standing up and kind of shouting at his brother to take action. Yeah. I don't really know if this means he is like, you know, angry person. Uh, but it feels like, it felt like he's a person who wants to take action when it seems 
when it looks like the best option which I mean sometimes corresponds with being uh, an angry person we shouldn't overlook the possibility that he might be sabotaging himself about bowing recklessness and arrogance Recklessness and arrogance don't always aren't always apparent. Plus envy. I mean, it seems like Tiberius is a little more, well, a bit more successful than his brother, and it would be natural to envy him as a smaller, you know, child of the family. I'm curious about this grand action that you have discovered. After all, we are hunting a, a, an old and powerful grand girl of Indeed. Indeed. Perhaps this grand girl that we are hunting might be more related to this than what we thought. Uh, you did tell wolves we are fighting with each other? Yes. Okay. Uh, it can also mean that maybe there is a conflict between the clan mates. I mean, that's a, a little too literal uh, understanding of what you have seen, but... Uh, so, it, some, it... Sometimes, uh, the fates aren't necessarily averse to being literal. They, they just, they prefer to choose it when it's sort of confusing. Have you perchance heard the story of Cro of uh, Croesus? Mm, not me. I don't know if Agatha did. Uh, he went to consult. To cut it short, he went to consult an oracle to see if declaring war on the Persians would be wise. And the oracle said, "If you go to war, you will just a great empire will be destroyed." Needless to say, he was surprised when the when the empire that got destroyed wasn't the Persians, but his. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I feel you were going to say that. Uh, look. Uh, the gangrel might be behind something. It's a possibility. But he's not the only gangrel, and he's definitely maybe... Maybe he's not the most politically active Gangriel, considering he's also new to the city, right? Nic Nicodemus, I believe you mentioned you'd gone to check with a Gangrel contact at one point. Yes, the contact didn't like at all the our our, our alleged prey. He spoke with uh, disdain and contempt. Perhaps there is some root in it. Why do I feel like every Gangria feels like that towards each other? Uh, okay, do, I mean, do you, do you guys suggest... Sure. You guys <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Yes, Labiana? Oh, uh, no, I just... Sorry, uh... I guess I was just looking at what was what was typed on an old twenty. Ignore me. <laughs> I asked Laviana what her thoughts were, and she said, "Well, I'm not really sure right now." So right now she's just oh, okay. thinking. She's just thinking. Yeah, she is. She is. She's deep in thought. We have too little information about this. Perhaps, um, perhaps we'll, if we really want to check it out, it's possible to uh, ask questions about uh, how how are the clan gangrel uh, standings going on if there's like a civil war brewing but considering that considering the nature i don't suspect anyone would tell us oh you know we're we're going to bash our heads on friday there was also an eagle watching on the scene the venture may also be involved so it might mean that they're going to provoke this, like orchestrate. But, but why would they? 
I mean, why would Gangriel want to do this? What is the thing they would gain? No, the Gangriel would. There's a lot that no. the Gangriel could potentially stand to, to gain or lose from how land is handled, even by the mortals. I mean, uh, actually yeah. curious that uh, perhaps I, I, Hamas's problem is not the solitary one. Perhaps there are more lands like this, and perhaps there are more gang ro ro roaming them. And suddenly, with the agrarian reforms that could come if the uh, if uh, Gracchus is elected tribune, uh, perhaps this will sudden suddenly mean a lot of a lot of changes, uh, a lot of uh, new new influence, and suddenly they might not want Gangrel to be roaming these these places well you know yeah that, that might be the case that might be the case um look i am totally up for just sitting on the streets and gathering more information about either the gangrel or octavius or whatever i think while what we are doing the brainstorming is good right now it's really a dangerous play we are doing i mean if we get lost in these discussions we will start believing in them and then we will start taking actions uh, going from those beliefs and then if these things you know shows up to be wrong well I don't really want to be like oh I didn't expect that so I think we should do something more concrete to get answer to our questions Um, what do you suggest when you say something more concrete? Well, I, I, I mean, I have one idea right now that seems quite concrete enough. Let's just go investigate who, which kindred is helping Marcus Octavius, or let's just investigate the gangrel thing. Let's, I don't know, go to the Elysium I... maybe, talk if there are any gangrels there. I must advise that while we know, while we have reason to suspect that Gangrel and Ventru may be overseeing this generally, we can't necessarily say that any kindred faction is specifically influencing Marcus Octavius. And more to the point, it's possible that there might be things influencing him besides kindred. We are not the only things in the dark, after all. Indeed. That, that's another reason to take action and see if it's influencing him. You know, that gives another reason to do that. I mean, so far, as, as far as what I can tell, there seems to be several directions we can take, and this one seems a valid one. Uh, if any of you has some other path we can follow to help us, then please, by all means, share it with us. Otherwise, we are just going to stay here, discuss about things, assume some results, try to theorize and theorize, and keep theorizing. Actually, out of, out of character, have any of us, I presume, like, the people that you talked about before, uh, Chris, have begun their campaigning for these other candidates. Have we kind of gathered, like, a general gist of the kinds of things they're campaigning about? Like, what they're offering? Um, the people? More or less, uh, in terms of, Tiberius is offering a concrete thing. Put Roman citizens back on public land. Uh, pretty much everybody else is campaigning on their name and their money. Uh, Marcus Octavius basically says he is campaigning as um, Tiberius is an idiot and I'm not. Ah, uh, yes, the true dawn of modern politics. <laughs> Sounds like a solid program. Mm hmm. 
Um, and and everybody else that. is kind of, well, I have money, and uh, you guys, and yeah, I did some war stuff. Uh, I promise I'll help you buy your grain and shit like that. So they don't they don't really have a platform. They don't have a good theory of politics. Um, and that's why they're not really doing so so hot. They're they haven't found a way to tap into the public zeitgeist. Didn't you say there was one? Okay. Six guys. But the fact that oh, there's only one against Tiberius that really matters yeah. is yeah. yeah, one dom. It's uh, Marcus Octavius, the biggest competi competition. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So Mark, yeah, Marcus this... Octavius's goal is to discredit Tiberius so he can't get elected. Um, another thing I just want to say quickly: uh, while it's good that we are focusing at outside things that might, you know, affect our mission. Maybe we should start looking for trouble in the inner circle, which I'm talking about the people closest to Tiberius physically. Like maybe we should just, you know, go and meet with him at next possible moment and, you know, future interact with him. Look, we haven't really changed the status quo. We've left uh, his house in a bit of disgrace. Uh, I think we should postpone our meeting until after we start delivering delivering on our pro on our promise. So, uh, I guess the, the the most important thing to start with is to actually use the cult to start promoting him. Once he sees that we're we're doing some results for him, maybe he will be more receptive. And on that note, we really need an inside man uh, in his uh, in his. Uh, uh, well, in his in his group, I'm the inner circle is probably a long shot, but perhaps someone who will listen in on uh, on, on things co coming down to more regular people, like uh, slaves. You know? Oh, I mean, like. We should have someone that we know, and and he would be like an activist working for uh, for uh, for Tiberius. Okay. Maybe he'll Nicodemus roll uh roll your wits plus politics at difficulty six. Her character, this is probably where the lobby is. Like, almost the perfect platform to test out my new power. <laughs> No, right. The others hearing the sound of this, that would be go, uh, Maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> yeah. You guys can almost hear the uh, devil and angel arguing on Laviana's shoulders. Do it. <laughs> Do it. No, no, no. Not right now. Not right now. Not a good time. But I know you want to. Except they're both they're both zombie devil. They're zombie devil and zombie angel. They, uh, they both they just they, they both say just say brains but with different tones all right so Nicodemus you're right you're not gonna get one in his inner circle but among some of his loyal outer support staff of which he has many many of them so you might even consider them to be some of his clients uh. Do, do you mean court, loyal court? Tiberius, as I believe some of you know, it right now could snap his fingers and a thousand veterans would jump to his defense. He could have a thousand strong veterans in Rome at his door in under an hour. Okay. So that's a thousand people that could be good targets for this. Yeah. But if we can take them as a target, that means others can do it. Too. Yes, but they're his outer circle. When he needs, okay, guys, I need 
an effort in on the south side of the Capitoline Hill uh, because Octavius was there trashing me earlier today. I need you guys to make sure you go and talk to all the people, as many as you can reach, and make sure that they know Octavius is an idiot and I'm going to get their land back. Yeah. Well, on his way, you have an agent there. On his way to the hill, he swings by your haven and says, Hey, that's where we're going. That's what happened. That's Wait, what you're looking for, right? That's, that, that is the, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's that's the useful information. Sure, I I'm up, I'm up for like hiring one such person. You know what it means hire. Someone needs to go and. Okay, we, we can do that too. I I can do that. I I can probably snap one of those guys easily. Just just in a second. Really need press ganging, and we don't really need this guy to have his loyalty divided. We just need to some to have some info. Okay. Look, like I said, if you can find a target and we go physically into his presence, I can just make it happen. I mean, look, it might be a little over the top reaction from him. I don't think. That will be the case, but it's still a possibility. But what I'm sure reaction? he will. What reaction? I don't know. He might be obsessed with me. What? Where is this music from? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. I look. I can play a little bit with his emotions. Any any target you choose, and then that might be enough for us to cool that person. Look, you oh, look like a person who knows how to how to mess up a man's mind without using our canine magic. So I trust you. You know how you'll do it. So I'm just gonna go and find you a target, and you're going to do the deed. Sure. I mean, in normal ways, it, it if you're talking if you're talking about normal ways, I think Albina is looking a little, but a little, not too much, a little better than me. You might be the better option to do that if you are going normal ways well, but if you want a tidbit of supernatural you know effect into this then yeah I think I should go okay we'll we'll find we'll find someone um, I guess I guess it's possible to figure out which veterans are those uh, and uh, there are probably taverns uh, that yeah, where one could learn something like that. Perhaps even through observance of the house, one could see some groups of ex-legionaries uh, roaming about, figure out where they're dining, that sort of thing. So uh, that's Nicodemus's plan, figure out where they meet, find some potential targets. Okay. Uh, I can help you with that. Okay, one of you uh, roll um, intelligence plus ledger domain plus contacts plus one dice because you're helping each other. Oh, you go for it. You roll. Uh, I have no contacts, but I have ledger domain. Which I do not have, but I have contacts. Wits plus ledger domain plus one dice. Also, this time, I'll be there, so we'll be thinking this might be the best time to uh, perhaps recruit more people to their cult. Nice. To their yeah. cult. There's a lot of there's a lot of desperate people. If you can help them, then they'll probably e yeah. easily join up. All right, Nicodemus, uh, we... with three successes, you recall of hearing uh, several neighborhoods where support um, from among t for Tiberius is incredibly strong. Uh, and you are likely to find uh, eager volunteers and perhaps people who know him personally. Awesome. That's where we're going to look. So kind of like uh, inns for 
Inns for yes. veterans. I assume they usually stick to their own company. Okay. Well, what you do is you have gone to it, you have been at this for a week now. The elections are in about two weeks. Um, so you need to all mark off seven blood. Can we okay. hunt yeah. somewhere in, in one the week? Room? But that's not the only thing we've been doing. I, I yeah, I know you have been searching out rumors, finding these neighborhoods, uh, looking for uh, discussing the other candidates, all kinds of stuff. Tiberius for the cult, I assume as well. Yeah. Uh, before before we just do the seven week pass, can I like roll for hunting at some point yeah. before, uh, before all of that week is passed? I think you should go ahead and mark all seven blood off, and if you want to hunt at this insule, then you can hunt at this insule. Because okay. you are headed towards an apartment complex. Uh, I don't want to hunt where we are going to mess. I want to do it somewhere else so that I don't maybe fuck up. What okay. we are going to do. You are hunting I'm... on the way to an apartment complex. At what difficulty are you going to hunt? Difficulty uh, four or difficulty six? The one with no sickness. Difficulty six. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me mark off my blood first. Okay, I'm rolling for the hunting now. Uh... Just give me a second. Mm. Six. Okay. Okay. Outstanding roll. Was it me? No, that wasn't me. Is that still two blood points per? Yes. Per success. Yes. Um, I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Uh, How hungry uh, are you, Agatha? 12. I'm a little up for my half, which is one, two, three, four, five. I am uh, 18. I'm at 18, I believe. No, 17. I'm at 17 blood, uh, which is above my half blood blood pool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take uh, 12 blood points total, so 6 each person. Okay. It was actually going to be a roll if you did not kill them. Yeah. You take yeah. 12 blood. The... Well, you know, I'm going to kill them either case. I will just take 20. Okay. Um, I would like you, Agatha only, to roll Perception yeah. plus Awareness. Okay. Uh, let me roll at some point. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, here. Awareness. Difficulty? Six. Okay. Rolling. Mm. Okay. Nice. Well, somebody saw you do this. Uh oh. Okay. Can I do you something are, about you? You feed on these two people. You uh, get up behind them. You bash their heads together. Yeah. You pull them into a darkened little cubby. And you feed, and as you are taking their bodies and uh, throwing pottery junk and mud on top of them to hide the corpses, uh, you catch a glimpse of a man dressed in the standard Roman tunic. Uh, he is quite dirty, muddy, but he, mm -hmm. he looks human. Mm -hmm. Watching you from around the corner, and when he sees you glance his way, he jerks backwards and you lose sight of him. Question, if I just celerity dash 
at where I saw him. How is it going to look like from the outside perspective? First roll your dexterity plus your stealth. No, wits plus stealth. Okay. Uh, if I do that, right? Yeah. I have th this this is to stuff. determine how many people are watching you, if any. When I do run. Do Correct. You... Okay. How and much attention going are you to... going to draw? Which could right. be none. Then... If you succeed at three successes, there's nobody else. Right. Uh, which I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to roll then. I'm, I'm going to let that guy escape. So I will, you know, I see that guy go away. All right. So I'm just like, well, that happened. And, and so then you, I just join Nicodemus. Yeah. You walk back out of there, and you don't see him. Uh, there's nobody screaming, murder, murder. I just saw somebody sucking the blood out of people. Red rum, red yeah. rum. Uh, <laughs> nobody, nobody's panicking. Somebody saw you, but they're not... Um, not raising the alarm about it. Yeah. You know, not yet. there's just too many people that can spy on me. I cannot deal with all of them. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to wait that thing to resolve in some way. I'm just going to wait it. Until then, I'm just going to ignore it. So, like, when I go to Nicodemus, I just refer to him that someone saw me drinking dry to people. So, you know, just be aware of that. I just tell that to Nicodemus, whispering to his ear, and I just move on. Nicodemus, how do you feel about this? That, uh, number one, your traveling companion submitted to, to drinking dry two people. And number two, that your traveling companion doesn't seem to care that somebody saw her drinking blood, and therefore potentially violating the silence of the blood. How does he feel, or how does he react? Uh, of course both. he's infuriated. It's not really the first time Agatha is tasting his patience, and he's so callous about it. Uh, he's, he's like ready to explode, and the effect is that he actually turns away to uh, give a moment to contain his uh, agitation and annoyance with this person. And when he turns back to her, he just... Uh, uh, he greets his teeth, uh, approaches, and tries to calm his voice to uh, to meritoriously inquire. How far away from this, from here was this? I I just say the general location. Uh, a block. Yeah, a block. A block. Who was this person? Did you get a good look? Nope, no idea. Some some random spy. You know what I think? I think we should uh, abort our plan for this night at least, or perhaps go some somewhere else. Uh, sure. I mean, sure. Yeah. Why don't we meet next night? Yeah, the veterans are not going anywhere. They're, they're not just going to vanish in one night. So... Next night? What do you, what do you mean every veteran ever just died on the spot? <laughs> uh, so Nicodemus, like, you know, he, you know he's, it's no use to, to try and argue with this person. Uh, he just wants to vacate her company uh, as fast as possible, but not before taking a um, a careful attention to the surroundings. Perhaps someone was eavesdropping or looking at them as they had their conversation. No, you, nobody seems to be particularly uh, interested in you guys. You're just you're just two more people on the street. Well, 
Okay, let's leave here, go somewhere else, away from the place. Alright, so you guys can return to your haven or you can switch targets and go somewhere else. It's up to you. Uh, I also try. What did you say, Albina? She will also be trying to hunt. Okay. Oh. Um, Albina, what difficulty are you hunting at? Six. Okay. Go ahead. I, I will do the same, actually. Alright. I assume Labiana will do the same thing. Oh no. Oh no. He's not that much. Okay. Thankfully. Things are just not going Albina's way this last week. Just not happening. <laughs> Sorry, you, no. you, you try to feed on a werewolf. Okay. Um, it's so bad. I just got back. Labiana, are you going to hunt? Well, I suppose. I mean, this is up in the seventh night, I think. Uh, at what difficulty are you hunting? Difficulty four or difficulty six? So, what's determining these difficulties? Like the density of people in here? Thickness. Um, uh, Possi probability of finding somebody who's really sick. So, if you hunt a difficulty 6, your target is clean. If you hunt a difficulty 4, you are probably going to get a disease. What happens when you get disease? You spread it. Yeah. Does it vanish at some point? Eventually, you, I mean, yeah, eventually. But, but it's, it's, gen it's generally seen as poor manners, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, be right back. Okay. So Labian is rolling a diff six. All right. Does anybody else? have a, an idea, something to do while Nicodemus and um, Agatha are aborting their mission for tonight. Labiana, not a botch. Just no successes. Fail. <laughs> Anybody at all? So we we also had had ideas to check who's who's supporting uh, who's supporting uh, Tiberius Octavius. and and Octavius and see uh, where the because we could use some inside man everywhere. So is anyone doing that? Yep. Okay, so the best way to do this is going to be right after sunset, you want to travel to where um, kind of their home bases are. That way you're actually going to be talking to people who know them personally. Um... So we're going to go fast forward one night. It's a brand new night. Off one blood. Okay. Nicodemus, you and anybody going with you? I mean, if Nicodemus doesn't want, Agatha wouldn't come. But otherwise, she will. Uh, this is another night, right? I've, I've, yeah, another night. I've given some thought about it perhaps it would be best if we split split our efforts uh why won't you try to do something similar agatha with uh, with uh, marcus octavius we could use some men in there and 
we don't need to be as subtle about it as uh, as with Tiberius, because we don't necessarily need to keep the good graces. Okay. Do, do, okay, are we going to do this like only two of us? Does anyone in the country wants to, you know, help us? Or are you guys going to do something else for the night? I can assist, but we still require feeding. Right. Okay. I mean, Albana can uh, attempt to feed again, of course. Uh, at difficulty six, if she wants guaranteed clean, so can Labiana. But uh, so what it is, you as you guys travel, you're going to be searching, hunting, and feeding. So this is in, in, in your travel time, basically. So about an hour after sunset, Nicodemus goes one way. Agatha goes another. Mm -hmm. Who's going with who? Nicodemus is going to do the, do the deed of recruiting someone uh, on his own. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to the Octavius to try to recruit that. Um... I'm sorry. I'll let the other finish us. Why are you guys so silent? <laughs> okay, I'll just say what I was thinking of, I would do. Um, I'm going to start working on, um, you know, try and figure out materials to, like, um, because one of the things he hinted he wanted was for people to be, you know, more aware of this kind of thing, of uh, what his uh, proposed reforms actually mean. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, sure. so I think it might be worth, um, just taking the time to start working on trying to come up with material for that. So what, what do you mean? Okay, by, by say that again. Basically, I'm trying to... I'm thinking of having a hat for this night, uh, stay in and try to make... and. Uh, come up with, you know, basically educational slash propaganda materials. Okay. So hashes Truth. and stays. Um, is anybody going with Agatha? Or or should I say, what is Albana doing and what is um, Labiana doing? What I think that Albana could do, uh, she's certainly not going to go to uh, Tiberius crashes. Yeah. Yes, Tiberius crashes. Uh, after what happened last time, she could go to I, Agatha, or she could try to help uh, mobilize the cult. Actually, wait try a to minute. help make it more effective. I just had a thought. Don't you have precisely one dot of vicissitude? No, I do not. You don't? Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I thought you hit it. Like, like you hit it for some time, right? No, uh, I was fought vicissitude by Alexis, but I never actually brought the first bot, the first thought. Okay. Oof. Okay. All right. So Albina is going to work on mobilizing the cult. Albina is going to make a role of charisma and leadership um, and modified by her merit uh, enchanting voice Ooh. does eerie so it's base difficulty of, of six uh, modified appropriately by her merit 
Jesus it's God, it's... man. You are um, look here. Dice Lord is not sure liking you. you. Uh, All right, the the cult appears uh, unenthused. Um, she tries to give a speech about we need to go support the Tiberius, and Tiberius is going to help us, and it's going to help Rome. And the cult's like, uh, oh, you know, we're kind of tired from you know doing our stuff during the diet the day. You know, we'll we'll do a little, but well, you know, rah rah rah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Lavina would try to help if she can. That, that felt so real, like la 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 thing, that just, you know, being lazy thing, that just felt so real to me. <laughs> Alright, um. She can use her. You know who would have been great for that role? Yeah. But mm -hmm. stuck writing shit instead? Alright, um. Lavina, you are. You come in and you're like, and you come in, like the spirit squad on the cheerleading team. That's no way to think about it, guys. Oh no! So make you make you a charisma and leadership role. Um, unfortunately, severely hampered by your flaw of your presence. I'm gonna try and use all. <laughs> all right. So activate all first. Which is charisma plus performance at difficulty seven, and you have to spend a blood point for that. And you should have reverse draws with Albin and me while Albina's going to the man. I would try to move the. Going yeah, that happens with roll twenty. Do you, do you need help with anything? Stupid! I may have to mend roll to see if worst comes to worst. Yeah, I've noticed this things seem to be popping on and off of them. It okay, might be it's eerie it's presence. It's eerie presence. I'm looking up a flaw. Seven. Supernatural, repulse, touch, curse, demon, unlucky, 13th. There it is. Okay, yes. It is book difficulty of seven, charisma and performance. And I assume you are projecting an aura of leadership, being inspiring, patriotic. Oops. Excellent. With three successes, uh, that's pr pretty much the entire room. Six people. All right. Now make you a um, charisma plus leadership roll at uh, difficulty eight. Um. um and add one extra dice. Hold on, you cut out there. It's a leadership diff eight. Yes, that includes your flaw. Yeah. Oh, you, you are cutting out. You might want Please. to change the server. Said add. I'm going to change the server real quick. Um, yes, that does include your flaw. Also, A is essentially you add to the related social role. Eerie presence uh -oh. is plus two difficulty on all roles involving more all social roles involving mortals, except for intimidation. No, we're talking about all. All. I think, or maybe I'm. All was. Now was given an extra dice. Yeah. I don't believe you add your whole presence rating. I think it's just an extra dice. Uh, it's whole presence, actually. Uh, well, I am double-checking that. Okay. The ancient dice equal to her dots in presence. Uh, 
I can tell you the page to make it faster for you. The impression uh, should be simple, honest, competent player spends bullet point number, assesses role terms how people are affected. It's at the end of the uh, ability. Those affected can use willpower points to overcome. Character gains additional dice. You're correct. The character gains additional dice equal to her dots and presence to any action that would foster or take advantage of the chosen reaction. Okay. All right. I think you only have presence one anyway, so it's the same, but thank you. That is a technicality that could be very important in the future, so thank you for pointing it out. Yeah, it means others can manipulate us very easily with A. All right, yep. so Labiana with two successes. Um, they appear much more enthused. Uh, it's not great, you know. They're not uh, they're not clearing the benches and leaping to their feet and grabbing their materials and running out, but they're at least getting up and... Uh, just like, all right, well, I guess we'll go get it done. I, I, you know, we'll, we'll go, you know, paint some stuff on the walls and go rip down some of the Octavius's shit. And make sure he can't spread it quite as far. And we'll, we'll go do some work. Oops, I want to fall down. All right. Um, so... Yes. Uh, the cult is actively working now to help. Excellent. Um, Nicodemus, you are headed towards Tiberius's area. Yes, some other place. Not from the right. um, previous night. So, so it's another, it's another um, insulae. It's another apartment block. Mm -hmm. Oh, apartment block. Uh, I, I was more looking for an inn or a meeting place uh, there are many because remember these apartment blocks are cheap super cheap housing mm -hmm. there are no kitchens um, there's no hangouts everybody has to eat outside they have to drink outside um, these are people who can barely afford clothes and rent let alone being able to have candles and lamps in their house or their apartment. So people go to their apartment to sleep. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And to shelter from the rain and wet. Uh, so okay. you go to this apartment block. And uh, just outside of it, within a couple of buildings, there are uh, a very large number of uh, Roman, what they would call fast food places. Uh, wine bars to drink, uh, basically street vendor stuff, and a slightly and a, an extremely packed, uh, what we would call a tavern, basically, uh, where people can get in and sit down and talk. Uh, there's okay. lamps in the ceiling, oil lamps burning so that they can people can see, they can gamble. This is something you have for the last, for over a hundred years, you've seen it, uh, very similar to everything, everything you've seen for a hundred years. Mm hmm Uh, okay, um, so Nicodemus is going to, to, to try and, uh, like, casually eavesdrop on, of, on some of the conversations, uh, try to determine if there are actually some, uh, Tiberius' supporters. Uh, get the general vibe and uh, see maybe some of them are uh, uh, reminiscing of Carthage. Okay. Maybe they're yeah, better give me a, a dexterity plus um, no, actually give me a charisma plus subterfuge roll to blend in with the crowd. You get yourself a, a bowl of, of wine uh, kind of m nudging, moving yourself through the crowd, just, just blend in. I think this is something you should be very familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you don't feel okay. like I should. I should mention your power of Valerian. You are in no danger here. So if if things turn hostile, it will be because of what you have done. <laughs> mm -hmm. I figure. All right, with three successes, you're just another guy in the crowd. No better or worse than anyone else. Um, 
roll me a perception. Uh, yeah, perception alertness. You're generally just observing, listening to people's conversations, uh, hearing what they're saying, seeing how they act. Just kind of all your senses combined. Observing the situation. I rolled. It's one success. All right. Uh, with one success, you don't catch very much of it. Uh, but this does appear to be a camp that is uh, very positive towards Tiberius Gracchus. It's a bunch of people that were forced off of their land, had the banks buy it out from under them, the aristocracy. Uh, quite a bit of bitterness towards that. So, And that is, of course, the topic of conversation. How am I going to make money tomorrow? Do you guys have job tips? I can't wait for Tiberius to give me my land back. Okay, this sounds like something that Nicodemus would like to blend in. Uh, so he'd approach them and uh, kind of try to join in the conversation. Uh, if he did, he'd, he'd buy around for them. Yeah, you uh, uh, kind of right. empathize with their with their situation and problems and kind of. Just strike a casual conversation and uh, try and bond with them on this basis. Okay. It's going to be a... Well, you're an actor, aren't you? Let's do charisma and performance acting. <clears throat> and tens count for two successes on these because you're an actor. I'm going to spend a power on this. And that's five successes. Five, they instantly accept you as one of them. A um, couple of guys shove aside. You squeeze in. <clears throat> set, your, set yourself down on the bench. Um, another bread bowl is set in front of you. Uh, full of whatever unidentifiable broth that they're eating and drinking here. And you've got your bowl of wine in front of you. Uh, and you join in the conversation. Uh, quite a bit of it is people asking each other for job tips and commiserating with the fact that um, they haven't been able to feed their wives today and uh, they're worried about their kids um, and a lot of anger and about that. Quite a lot of anger. Uh, out of... Uh, out of curiosity, does it seem like they understand what uh, what Tiberius' plan is, more or less, as much as uh, Nicodemus knows it? Oh, as much as, or or is, is it like they they just been they, they just ate the cream and uh, just follow the follow the promise? Yeah, these guys. Let's see how much do they understand. They don't understand much. Um, they don't know the legalities of all this. What they have gathered is what is on the street. That Tiberius knows, um, first off, they all know his name. He's a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, they all, they've just gathered that Tiberius understands that their lands were stolen from them and that he has a plan to get them back. He's going to help them become respectable landowners again. He's going to help them uh, provide for their families again. Uh, he is a man of the people. Um, does it seem like they understand that there may be resistance to his ideas and that's why he needs uh, loyal men? Okay, May, give does... me a uh, very careful. Oh, oh, very carefully Sorry. make a charisma and politics um, role to float this into the conversation. Okay. 
that's okay. a failure. Well, you bring up the topic. You're all sitting around the bench. You bring up the topic. Hey, uh, you know, I kind of heard this Marcus Octavius. He's, uh, you know, he's more or less running against Tiberius and trying to discredit him. And these guys, they pound the table by, by Jupiter's dick. I swear, I swear that if Octavius blocks him, I will personally march down there and grab him and I will chop his balls off and make him fucking eat him. Like, it, it's starting to get a little bit rowdy because it's instantly starts spreading. Oh, did you hear? Octavius wants... He, he wants to, to stop Tiberius? Octavius, he's in the pocket of, uh, of all of the senators? All these rich bastards? So, uh, you tried to broach a sensitive topic and it did not go over well. Okay, is there a way to defuse the situation well, like... They're uh, not mad at you. They're just mad. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, is, is it, does it seem like there's, it's like an inflaming... Uh, oh, sorry. Like it's getting out of control or, or it just ruined the spirits of Should, the... Imagine you're sitting at Christmas dinner. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, okay. okay. I guess what you mean. <laughs> and, and you got your drunk uncle there, and he's got the unpopular political opinion, and he won't shut up about it. That's going to completely ruin Christmas Center. But there uh, you okay. are. Uh, let's try to shift to something something better, like um, maybe commemorate on the better days when they were in the, in, in the, uh, in the army and the successes. Maybe some of them were from Carthage, and which is where, where, where Tiberius... Uh, uh, became a hero. Okay. Uh, make a manipulation and empathy role. Ah, much better. Yes, you skillfully guide the conversation back to reminiscing about the old days and uh, begin to talk about how Tiberius was the first over the walls. Maybe you even mentioned that you were there. Even though you look a little too young for that, um, uh, but yeah, everybody starts talking about Tiberius, the war hero. Things calm down a little bit. Uh, you notice fresh, uh, fresh people are coming in and out um, of this of this room. It's getting kind of late, though. You're not going to be able to get much more out of this. You're going to have to make fair. your move quick. Mm-hmm. Uh... So during this time, Nicodemus was looking for his target, someone who seemed fervently devoted, but at the same time seemed um, more, maybe a bit brighter than the others. Okay, you've made so, uh, quite a bit of conversation with these guys. Uh, give me a perception plus... Uh, perception plus... God, what's a good role for this one? Perception plus subterfuge role. No, no, no. Perception plus leadership. I like that one better. Need to go ruin my wife's one success. Oh, still got it. I still got one. All right. Uh, there's a guy who hasn't participated much. He's off in the corner. He's he's big, broad-shouldered man. Um, he's got a scruffy, two-day-old beard. Hasn't shaved in a couple of days. Um, his garments are ragged. Uh, his hands are rough and scarred. Um, is he is he dining or is he? He is eating sitting? and kind of listening. And you've noticed. It took you a while to notice this with one success. But as men are talking and eating and talking with you, as people move in and out, um, they're nodding at him, you know, giving him the, the man, sh you know, head nod uh, of respect. And he appears to be 
He's minding his own business. He's not joining in, but he listens. And people, they sit next to him. They're not scared to approach him, um, but they respect him. And you can just tell, you can just read it in their body language. Uh, everything about him. Uh, if this man uh, wanted it, th these guys would probably uh, join in and help him. He's respected. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you said they're approaching him. Uh, is there anyone stopping to talk to him for a while? No, nope. he appears to be want to be left alone. Uh -huh. But you wanted a target. That is your most. That's that's your man right there. Now I should tell you he hasn't said go away. He hasn't mm -hmm. said a word. I know. Uh, let's see. Um, as the as the group uh, as the uh, as the. As the hour breaks and there's probably starting to be a lot less people yeah. now. Yeah, a lot less people. In so fact, he's getting ready to leave. You can see that he's he's done drinking. He doesn't have much more. Uh, he's not getting a refill. He gets up. He's slightly drunk. Uh, Nicodemus would approach him and try to uh, and try to strike up a conversation. It's like, oh, I've... I've uh, Hmm. Oh, you look like so someone who has seen a lot, and uh, perhaps you could share some wisdom with me. I've uh, I've seen you sat sitting here uh, for a while longer. Seem to know these people and their strife. I cannot help but to empathize. Uh, perhaps I can buy you another round. Um, now that you're closer to him, you get a look at his left hand. You notice he's missing several fingers. He says, uh, he, he's a little bit slurred, a little bit wavy when he stands. He's like, you know, I, I, I appreciate it, but I, you know, I have to go. I managed to find some work tomorrow and I have to be up with, with the, with Helios, with the sun. Uh, he kind of staggers and he, he like leans on you for a second to get his to get his balance. You get a uh, whiff of him. Uh, he he hasn't been to the baths in a couple of days either. Uh, <laughs> uh, does it seem like there's any ulterior motive, ulterior movement uh, from him as he leans, or is it just so so? Stumpily okay. drunk. Perception plus empathy. Mm -hmm. Good roll for you. Oh. Nope. Unless it was side, no, side based. No, it was feel based. Uh, from what you can see, he's drunk. Okay. Uh, well, oh, easy there, big fella. Perhaps I can, uh, I can, uh, I can help you uh, reach your home. Okay. He's uh, as he walks, he's like grabbing the tables to keep from falling over. <laughs> as he walks to the uh, door. Uh, so Nicodemus is going to help him to stabilize him. Uh, he's going to pay all that he's owned for, for all the things he has bought and pretended to eat. And maybe he, uh, we've, we've actually probably spent the blood points to appear human. Uh, this close. And uh, and he like tries to wiggle under this guy's uh, arm and try to try to lead him. Yeah, he. Uh, you guys stagger out the door. Um, and he points towards the, uh, block of apartments and you, he grabs for the door frame and his palm slides off, uh, where his fingers would normally grip, but he's got no fingers to grip. Luckily we're there. We're helping him. Um, sorry, what kind of job is this? 
it kind of gets me enough money to eat. I have to go gardens. Sorry, can you repeat that? Okay. He hiccups. <gasps> Garden. Yeah. Move <clears throat> statues. <laughs> wow, wow. Are you feeling all right? Maybe you'd need a glass. You'd like a glass. Uh, you'd need some more. Uh, you'd like no. some water. Need sleep. All right, we'll get you. We'll get you. That's assuming. I need my hand back. Uh, so he, he starts would... half dragging you and you're half carrying him into the apartment complex. Uh, so Nicodemus would study his his uh, his his palm and what kind of what kind of damage was this? Was his fingers cut off? Uh, you're gonna stop him in the middle of the street and and start looking at it, doing a careful medical examination. Ah, intelligence plus medicine. Just try to. You, I, you completely cut out there. I'm gonna. Stop for... Hello. Uh, you completely uh... cut out again. Uh. I heard wits plus medicine. Yes. Correct. Yes. For a casual glance. Uh, oh. Is this difficulty six? Yeah, because it's a quick glance in the dark. If you were under well lit conditions, it'd be different. You got one success. I know. I know you have a, a medical specialty. Yeah, that's right. Um, looks like they were burned or crushed, something. It's not clean and surgical, we'll say that. Mm. Uh, he's muttering as, as they walk up the steps. He's muttering, rich bastards, fucking sons of goats. They took my land, and then they took my hand. My time and my well, land wasn't good enough for them. They had to take part of my body, too. Was it crushed or burned? Does it still hurt? What do you care? I don't even I know care. you. Ugh, he's... Dry. He's leaning up against the wall and kind of half staggering up the, the narrow steps. See... This is the problem with this city. Too few people care. And I know it doesn't match if one person cares. But, but... But it's truly devastating that uh, Rome is not... is not respecting his veterans or his citizens. What, what Tiberius does or attempts to do is noble and should be held with all, with all possible strength. The rules implemented in the, in the past were just, and they're not being upheld. You got that right. Can't wait for Tiberius to finally do what needs to be done. That man has the backing of Jupiter. And Pluto. And Neptune. Hiccup. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop him. Hey, you notice the hallways are completely dark. You are basically stumbling in the dark here. Can you hear me? Am I coming through? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh... Yeah, he's slowly climbing the steps, and you can hear his feet thumping kaboo, kaboo, as he's thumping and slumbling and up the steps, and you are more carefully following behind him. 
sometimes when he, he goes to fall backwards, you got to catch him. No, no, no big guy. <laughs> Don't fall. Let's get up the steps here. Um, so is it possible to, uh, obviously we're not going far. The, the only de uh, decent way to do this is to try and covertly try and feed him some blood. Um, roll uh, so roll charisma want... plus medicine. Charisma plus medicine. Well, that's a weird roll. You offer him a drink that will help him sleep and help with his uh, sickness in the morning. That would be a great idea. Yeah, but I don't suppose I have anything. You always carry something with you like that, don't you? You always have a medical bag with you, at least a couple of them, don't you? Uh, yeah, okay. I guess some herbs could be... could be Some herbs be mixed with a certain idea. special mystical red substance? Yeah. For instance. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's go with that. Mm. Let's uh, okay, let's follow him until he he gets he gets uh, to his to his door. Yep, uh, it's near the it's near the top. Um, but uh, he is respected enough. He has a corner room. There's no walk on this door. Uh, the only thing that's in the room are some bedding and a pile of clothes. A uh, very small pile of clothes. Um, there's just enough light. There's a small, narrow slit in the wall that lets the light of the moon come in. You can just barely see a glimmer of his skin in the light. With your enhanced eyes, it's just enough for you to add blood to the jar and give it to him. Mm -hmm. And your charisma oh. roll was so successful with six successes that he's like, okay, sure, and he downs it. Okay. Nice. So... He is now one step bound to you. Okay, we haven't got his name, but this will come. I guess he just passes out and goes to yeah. sleep. Uh, his point. name is uh, Grask Gracalus Octavianus. G-R-A-C-I-L-I-S. That's what I thought I heard, Gracalus. Gracalus Octavianus. Uh, um, blah, blah, blah. okay, we're just going to leave him like this, close the door, uh, remember where he lives, I'm going to find him next night. Okay. Agatha, well, you know what, before we do, let's take, let's take five, back in five. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. No, I'm sure. Agatha, <clears throat> your turn. You are attempting to do the same sort of trick, uh, only to uh, Marcus Octavius's camp. Um, do you want me to tell my general? Do you want me to tell you my general plan? Sure. Okay. Uh, I plan to find someone and then try to uh, get laid with that person uh, using presence if necessary and then blood bond them once we are like you know once we slip together okay so when, once we are in a private place All right either in his home or I don't know so you're else. as a group your con your group contacts have pointed you towards a uh, area that's very strong towards him. Um, it's a slightly more upscale uh, neighborhood. There's still apartment complexes and stuff there, but they're a little bit closer, a little bit better taken care of. Um, so 
you show up to this neighborhood. And your goal is to find a strong supporter and seduce him. Is that correct? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. You walk into the bar. Everyone turns to look at you. What seems okay. like everyone. Give me a charisma and subterfuge roll to blend in. Of course. Uh, charisma subterfuge. Okay, let me get my dice pool. Here's the uh, Difficulty? Six. Okay. Okay, two successes, not too bad. All right, uh, pretty much everyone goes back to what they were doing, uh, their conversations. Uh, you get your stuff, and you do uh, pick out a, a target, I would assume. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Now, you can't just pick out any random target. You've got to find somebody who can actually get you a result. That's, right? That's true. That's true. All right. Give me a charisma plus performance to join in on the conversations and uh, pretend to be one of them. Gather some information here. It's performance acting. Uh, I have no acting. I have performance thoughts, okay. but I don't So like roll your performance acting. thoughts. It's just the tens don't count, or they only count as one success, I should say. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, they seem to be accepting you as one of their own. Um, then, well, dominantly, I'm just going to be an observer, listening people, and uh, once in a while, if they ask me anything, I will respond in a way that will satisfy them, uh, opinion-wise, uh, you know, culture-wise, whatever. Right, right. Uh, and I'm just going to wait till there is one person who can get result for me. I'm showing the signs of being capable of that. All right, so you're going to roll Perception plus Leadership. Okay. I can also do that. Perception plus Leadership. Uh, can I spend one willpower for that? Yes, you can. Okay, I will do so. That's two success. All right. So there's a couple of brothers uh, who seem to be uh, leading the conversations here, we'll say. <clears throat> we'll put it like mm -hmm. that. Uh, both of them are, are slightly older men, maybe in their 30s. Uh, they basically say that uh, there's no way that Tiberius's policies are going to work. All he's going to do is rob the rich, and he's going to take it for himself, just like they always do, because he's a selfish rich bastard. And only uh, Marcus Octavius knows what's going on. Uh, hell, even Tiberius' family, the uh, Scipios, uh, rejected him. Uh, Marcus Octavius, he's got their support. So you know that uh, Tiberius has done some bad shit. Like every other politician. So yeah, they're going on. Well, remember the Scipios, heroes of Rome. Mm-hmm. I don't tell that in character. I don't yeah. tell like a rather politician. It's out of character. So, they are a potent, potent name. Okay. Okay. But the guy telling that, the brothers, I mean, right now, uh, they seem capable of achieving what we want, right? They seem to be yep, they, showing they are, the signs of... They are local leaders, we'll say, street-level leaders. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to be respected in the neighborhood. Uh, very strong supporters. Um, but obviously not very high up in the council. And yeah, the council, because otherwise they wouldn't be sitting right here. Yeah, that's enough. 
Now I have a question. Uh, I don't know if in the ancient times Rome people wear like ring or whatever a sign of being married. Is is that a thing, or are we going to just home brave that it is a thing? Well, I I actually have to know a little bit about this because I'm not sure if it originated now, but the practice of the, that specific finger being for the ring uh, came about in Rome at some point. Okay. I actually happen to know this. I'm glad you know that, because I did not. <laughs> yeah, um, it was actually a thing where a weird mix of, um, you know, actual knowledge and superstition, because they figured out the vein that runs through that finger, like, it runs extremely close to the heart. I believe is what it's meant to be. So, yeah. All right. Uh, so... Um, one is married, one is not. Okay. Um, and the one that is not married, does it seem to be dominant brother or the lesser brother? Lesser. Say. Okay. Uh, I'm going for the not married guy. I'm going to... You know, like, you're in a bar and you see this one girl or boy, whatever, just, like, doing some eye stuff like i don't know i fucking you i guess that's the word they use sure i just want to do something similar to you know show that person that guy that i have some sort of sexual interest to him okay. and are you gonna I... activate presence now or are you gonna activate it later uh this is the point i would like to activate all okay and what is the impression you're going to give off with all Seductive. Seductive. Okay. Chari spend a blood point. Charisma plus yeah. performance. Difficulty, seven. And I also want to say that I'm using another blood point to have a warm skin. Okay. You know. uh, so that's two blood points. Um, and then I roll performance charisma. Right? Correct. No. Uh, okay. Charisma performance, sorry. Mm-hmm. Per the book, uh, difficulty seven. Yes. Let's roll. Okay, that is uh, six people. I don't know if that includes that guy too. That's six Good enough. people. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, they both are start looking at you. Mm -hmm. And uh, giving you a good look up and down. You're going to roll appearance plus seduction. Or, or subterfuge, sorry. Appearance plus subterfuge. Okay. okay. Plus your presence dice pool. Yeah. Appearance plus subterfuge plus five. And what's the difficulty? Six. Oops. Let's see. Okay. Not to put too fine a term on this, um, the brothers make it very clear they're going to take you back to their uh, apartment and double team you. Sure, go for it. I I I want to clear. I, I want to say this uh, as a road of sin uh, bruja that has lived like for a century. I believe all of us has lived for a century now as a vampire. Uh, she does not care about human culture and human dogma uh, that stuff like that she doesn't care about it yeah I, okay um, I, i'm gonna make a point here about roman sexuality yeah okay. romans were very open about this stuff to experience but they were prudes about talking about it it's, yeah it's it's okay it's cool um uh, i know they they have some weird fetishes too i believe like yeah like at least by our standards weird fetishes by yeah. that time it wasn't weird uh, they were very open sexually yeah which is which is fun considering how the sexuality changed by time you know it right became so more oppressed. they uh all right guys we're out of here We'll also you see you all tomorrow. Uh, pretty obviously, kind of the two of them dragging you out of there. 
Yeah, I, I'm of course willingly coming with right. them. Or You're gonna uh, flirting, yeah. have to spend one more blood point to prepare your body to receive them. Okay. I can do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait for an opportunity to feed them my blood. Alright, so basically they spend... What's their how long? Let's see how long does it take them until they fall. Asleep? Please roll stamina. Please roll stamina and let's see if can if they can st satisfy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the the older brother hasn't gotten any in a long time, and um, he lasts about as long as a teenager and rolls over and falls asleep. Um, the younger brother is. Uh, I don't want to say inexhaustible, uh, but they could have used him for your standard pornographic film. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a kiss. To and the after about an hour me. and a half or so, he uh, he too rolls over and falls asleep. Okay, then I'm going to feed both of them with my blood. Okay. Uh, you, uh, how you know, do you how are while... you gonna how are you gonna make them swallow your blood? You're gonna shove a funnel uh, in their mouth and pour it, or what? Uh, by the way, while the sex is going on, I, I'm going to cast uh, Entrancement on them, too. Okay. Uh, roll uh, your Entrancement, please. Right, which I have to check quickly. I have it open. Uh, it is Appearance Empathy. All right. Okay. What's I the difficulty on that? Uh, Their willpower? Uh, let me check. Uh, difficulty equal to target's current willpower points. Difficulty three. Okay. Um, appearance and then uh, empathy. Difficulty three. Do you want me to roll twice or just pick this just once? Let's see. This might go bad nonetheless. <sighs> Holy shit. That's, uh, let me tell you how much that is. That's one year. Or that's more than one year, actually. That's Five success is pretty much year. the rest of their life. They're just going to think about it. They will be like, oh shit, that woman. Oh, if only she was my wife. She is always, you are always going to be the one who got away. Forever and ever. Yeah. And I have to spend two blood uh, for that. Okay. Uh, because that, that power costs blood. So I'm going to spend a lot of blood in this <laughs> with, process. With the entrancement, they are more than happy to drink anything you offer them. Yeah. If it comes in a bottle. Yeah. And I'm gonna, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. I, I thought about a little bit more erotic version, but sure. I was thinking like cutting my wrist and just placing on their lips and something like that, but if it's going to be easier to just do it in the ball, sure, it's fine. Yes. Just so, um, you are sexually um, conquered. Well, you conquer, I should say. Yeah. Um, no walk, well, it's a walk of, uh, victory, but also the walk of shame for you out of their apartment. And back to the haven. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, I did my thing and I, you know, pulled over them, but it's still fucking up with, I don't know, dirty, old, uh, not rich guys. So it still feels like they are not worth my body, but I had to do what I needed to do, and that's not the problem. Oh yeah, th these guys, they're, they'd never be worthy of the embrace. They're, uh, they're toadies. Um, definitely not somebody you'd ever want as more than just, oh, they're a useful tool. Yeah, pretty much. To her, they are just some other males, like the other rest. Uh, yeah, then I go to the haven. That's it. Like, like you oh. say. Should I make a roll to the materials I come up with? What materials? That's what, uh, I was under the impression that's what I was doing um, for my part. Like You said you were strategizing, I with... right? so I wasn't sure what that was going to be. Oh, well, strategizing can also work, but also just like, you know, coming up with, yeah, coming up with propaganda materials, like you know, flyers, and, and just, you know, generally. 
Okay, well, you are going to have to go get that stuff. So I'm sure you don't keep that on hand. That's a trip uh, to the marketplace for you. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> what, what would be propaganda? Like, would it be knowledge skill? Ability, I mean. Now, you have the resources for this, so that's not an issue. The issue is finding the right vendor. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's going to be... No. Now, um, who do you take with you? Because I know you're not going by yourself. <laughs> In case of very well. I'm going to the wrong one. <laughs> I yeah, am... Yeah. I am going to take... Let's take Borka with us. Take... Take who? Uh, the... Google and is anyone else... Are any players available at this point? Uh, you're taking... Are you gonna take the Hound? Are you taking Mercurio? You're taking Tyrannus? Oh, I'll take... You know what, yeah, I'll, I'll take the Hound and then see if either of the two are fledgling for free. <laughs> um, maybe Mercurio if he's free. Um, Labiana or uh, Albana, do you object to this? No. Because they are going to ask you because, yes, they love you and won't voluntarily leave you alone for that. Mm. All right. Oh, Knowing yep. who they're going with. They are to follow um, Hatchef's words like that's all. Alright. Uh, Mercurio will go with um, Hatchef's. Uh, Tyrannus will stay behind to make sure nobody tries to break in and bother you two. Fair enough. Um, so you've yeah. got the uh, war dog with you and Mercurio, and you've honestly never felt better protected in your life. Because uh, nobody fucks with war dogs. There's mm. nobody sane. <laughs> okay, so I just need to be worried about Uncle Malkavian's got it. All right, so you're going to make a very simple um, wits and commerce roll to find the right vendors. Can I spend the willpower on this? Yes, you can. Uh, base diff? Six. You know where the forum is. You know where all of them are. Now you just have to find the right person selling the right stuff. Oh, wow. That's good. You got three stacks too. All right, you uh roll up to the uh, wagon that is has uh, several paints on it, um, some big brushes. Uh, no real, no canvases, unfortunately, but uh, and quite a bit to do graffiti things like that. Whatever you'd really need for that. Yep. I'm gonna get everything I need, uh, I think I might need, and, um, yeah, I think just head on back. Alright, um, make a intelligence plus, or sorry, make a charisma and commerce roll, negotiate the price. I just want to see who comes out on top. Oh shit, commerce. I do not. Uh, or maybe no, I do. Tied. Roll again. Oh, he failed to roll. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you win this time. Um, you get a pretty good deal on it. Uh, you get some pots of uh, basic paint, some uh, brushes, and you are out of there, safe and sound. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, boy. <laughs> No werewolves. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Maybe the shopkeeper was a werewolf, and he just didn't feel like making a big deal of that. If there is any shop, there this is, is a werewolf. Labiana. It's just a matter of time. You are in the midst of all this. You're. You know what? Let's 
let's take some opportunity and do a little bit of preaching. <laughs> so you're going to make your way amongst the poorest of the of the crowd because they're going to be the most receptive to anyone who offers solutions. This is true. Now, I haven't thought about exactly what she's going to say, but she knows the gist of what She knows what she's doing. <laughs> so let's start the... Uh, Let's start with a little bit of uh, charisma plus theology. Give a sermon. And naturally, Tyrannus is standing there to help uh, keep the enthusiasm of the crowd directed in the right way. Unfortunately, Eerie Presence sucks ass. It's going to be difficulty 8. Mm. Charisma... My brain. What was the role again? Charisma plus theology. Theology. Let's see. One die. Def eight. Oof. Is it a botch? Yep. It is a botch. Oh dear. She gets up. Oh, brothers and sisters. And she starts preaching about this pater. And Laviana, precisely what do you say when it starts going wrong? Oh. You know, I really haven't thought about that either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So something about how the rewards of death are waiting and uh, we just need to satisfy him before we get there something something somebody That's shouts nice. out i um, can't hear you and what is she saying she wants us to die boo <laughs> boo so the rotten fruit and the clods of mud come out and they start pelting throwing it at you um i have a question um Self-control roll, please. Uh, mm. This is humiliation, so difficulty six. Can, can I ask Imagine something Imagine being at this point as a look of disturb on her face going, Why are they being so disrespectful? I just said that, that, that they want good stuff in the afterlife. Why do they hate that? <laughs> exactly. Um, Tyrannus is also going to roll his self-control. You got one success. I got three. Three? Nice. Oh, you rolled it at diff three? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, in any case, you got enough successes that you don't... Um, that you don't teach them the error of their ways. And you simply get the hell out of there. <laughs> All right, and uh, neither Love does Tyrannus for uh, humiliating his mistress. Uh, he refrains from busting some heads. Mm. Love being is just cursing to herself. She's going, I'm going to get this to work one day. It's got to. You got this. You got this. Just, just keep those XPs waiting till you can increase your stuff. What would be interesting would be to see um, a botch like you know, preaching role that the crowd doesn't hate you. They just, they get into it and they, f that, but they, they think you're saying something very different to what you're actually saying. Hmm. I, well, that would be fun. I'm curious. How many times does um, Levine... I actually have the perfect example for that. Uh, -oh. <laughs> uh, and I will, if you guys ever watch the show South Park, couple seasons ago when they were parodying the election and they told the guy Herbert Garrison who they were using as Trump to go out there and say and say uh, be honest and say I'm a stupid man and I don't want this job and then they told uh, Hillary Clinton to say no matter what your opponent says just say he's a complete idiot and he doesn't know what he's talking about 
So every time Garrison would go, I'm so stupid, I can't believe you guys want me to be president. I'm in no way qualified for this. You need to vote for her. And Hillary comes out and she goes, my opponent is an idiot and doesn't know what he's talking about. And everyone's cheering for both of them. <laughs> That's exactly what it would have sounded like. All right. Agatha, on your way back, you, by yourself, want to stop and get a slave. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are only two slave vendors open, one of whom you intensely dislike. Do, do, uh, do I? Uh, you don't like Ihamas, do you? Uh, uh, no, why, why would I dislike him? I mean, I don't really have a reason to dislike he, him. He's one. The other one is in one of the uh, uh, standard markets. And I need to look the name of that one up as a name moment. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure, honestly not sure what it was called, but it is the near the Tiber. It's actually near Ihamas' uh, domain, actually. But it is a forum that specializes in slavery, the human slave trade. Okay. So you need to make your way across the city right. and to and, this forum. And, and to be clear, this is away from my haven, right? Correct. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to haven. I honestly don't even know where your haven's at. If it's on the west side of the city. Oh, I mean the group haven, not, oh, not group my haven. haven. Yeah, no, it's not close to the group haven. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with it. I can hunt uh, next night. I'm, go I'm going to the haven. Uh, group haven, I mean. Okay. All right. Everybody's back. Labiana uh, needs to get her clothes laundered. Again. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the first time this has happened. Does Does Labiana smell like corpse because she looks like a corpse? Or no, is, actually. Is it like another vampire? Nope, just another vampire. Is this how I don't have this? Uh, what? What? No, oh, because there's a particular mm. flaw for that, isn't there? Yeah, smell of the grave. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, she has it. I don't think she has that. No, check. It's no, not so much the smell of the coughs as much as the smell of a flesh of the grave. It would actually. So, alright, you guys. Uh... No, she just smells of rotten fruit and all these other things. Yeah, lots of <laughs> mud and dung, unfortunately, because there was a That's lot of that. Right. Mm -hmm. no. Unlike you, Het might have, you know, found that experience quite nice, you know, to be... Yeah. And she's looking a little peeved, even for a vampire. You look like a hex. I think that's what they are called in Antis. Like, at any moment, your tongue might come out as, like, a serpent tongue or whatever. Just a weary, like, two meter long, whatever. All right. Are you making some so, comment about me? Let yeah. me ask you guys: Do you plan on fully bonding those two, those targets? No, no. I'm I'm sticking with one blood point. It's I think is enough to make them do what I want them to do. Plus the entrance. Yeah. How about you, Nicodemus? Um, I don't really want him to to switch loyalties because he'll fuck up his mission if he's bonded too strongly. But will the Will will level one cut it to at least convince him that it's uh, uh, that it's in his best interest to re relay reports because I actually want to want uh, Tiberius to succeed. Um, I know you actually do want Tiberius to succeed, so you're not lying to him. Um, but, so I think but, I think one point I'm, will be fine. Okay, that's good. If you were trying to trick him, I would have had, probably had you make a roll. Uh, okay. Do, do, do we have a plan, guys? Do we have a plan for our next section? Uh, what about or checking... Stick with... Okay, hang on, Agatha. About... Go ahead, Nicodemus. Uh, what about checking if uh, Marcus Acadius has any kindred supporters? Did we do anything with that? Um, they have Marcus not yet. Nobody has. 
so that that's that's another thing. Uh, I'm curious about how the underworld is um, is feeling about those, those uh, Tiberius's movements because they might get involved, like crime organizations and stuff like that. Does anyone does do any of us have contacts in them with them? I do not. I do have contacts. Yes, but uh, in Rome. what are your contacts? Are they criminals? We, we never specify. I don't think you'd use criminals. No, I don't think it's criminals either. All right. I guess you probably turn to either your sires, for those of you who have a sire here in Rome, or... Uh, Not just again. be ignorant of it, unfortunately. Does, does, uh, do we have a group contact? Group maybe contact? Pro does maybe any of our followers from the cult have access mm -hmm. to them? I think they are quite simple followers. Good I don't know, maybe, maybe they picked the wrong jobs. Mm. All the right ones, depending on how your perspective. Mm. Mm. Maybe the size status be useful here. No, because he's talking about mortal criminals. Mm. How do you enter the criminal world? Like, how do you enter to that? Mm. I mean, probably you're probably gonna. People. You might. There's always an Osferatu to go talk to. Yeah. Do we, I mean, look, out of character, uh, I think speaking with an Osferatu is quite fine. Like, it will be a boon, but I think, you know, it's not, it wouldn't be too much hassle. Cool, last spoke with Papa Roach. Was that me? Is he in Rome? Yes, he is. Um, basically, he has a method uh, for you guys to let him know that you need want to talk to him. <coughs> and I haven't decided what that is. But we know it. But you know it. Yeah. Let's, let's do that method and get in contact. All right. So you, uh, uh, you leave the signal, agreed upon signal, uh, at the agreed upon place. Uh, we're going to fast forward two nights. So during these two nights, Nicodemus would find time to meet again with uh, with his with Gracilus Octavianus and do the whole convincing thing and explain the deal. Yes. Um, I assume you and Agatha both do that, and you oh, the information cool. comes in a little bit at a time. about where there are pre where people are preaching, where the speeches are taking place, stuff like that. All right, so you guys, <clears throat> it's approximately seven or eight days before the, seven or eight nights, I should say, before the election. Okay. Um, can I ask something quickly? Okay. Do we have any update on how things are going for Tiberius? Like, does this does he seem happy? Sad? I don't know. Had anybody you, any of you tried to talk to him? Yeah, I think now's the time that we need to make contact again. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I and agree. we we can mm -hmm. point now to you know we weren't we weren't just we. We can we can show that we've been putting our money where our mouth is. Yes, you can, and um, you of course knew this was coming. You had more than enough time to make the uh, arrangements to get an invitation and uh, have a time to go talk to him. 
Okay, so, yeah. you each make your way, begin to make your way towards his uh, villa. Oh, love you, and I'll obviously once again stays behind for obvious reasons. Uh, how about you, uh, Albina? I think, I think you should just call Yeah, her. she's not going to be present. <laughs> it would be wonderful if you just came like, Hey, hey guys. I'm the best spirit I'm We got off to a rough start last time. <laughs> you guys all thought I was a demon. That was all fun. All right. Hey, aren't you a Setite? You're supposed to support me. You guys get there. So you, you are closing in on his villa. So this happens before the meeting with the Nosferatu. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You've more. You knew this was coming. You had time to massage your schedules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you begin getting closer to his villa. And. I need you, if those of you who are there, um, to roll your perception plus awareness. Yes, I knew that's coming. It's, it's, it has begun. And awareness. Perception, awareness. So here comes both. Auspex helps with that. If you feel safe using it, it's uh, actually kind of noisy. Okay. Then... Two success is good. Uh, three, three, two, three. Good job. Um, is either of the bodyguards with you? What do you mean by bodyguards? Mercurio or Tyrannus. And again, that's up to Albina and Labiena. I think the that ones yeah. aren't here. Yeah, would you guys? left with me the last time we were here so I think bringing him along would be a bad idea mm. He's very much, I think he may associate him with me mm. and Labiana's bodyguard Did is I like <laughs> okay alright so it's yeah. the three of you <clears throat> we are capable of defending ourselves if it's not a werewolf <laughs> what, what was this the uh... hidden love you, it's not a werewolf, but it's five. It's never one <laughs> werewolf, it's always a pack of werewolves. Okay, okay, just kill us, okay. Um, as you approach, you are about a block away. And each of you, you feel that your hair is standing up on the back of your neck. And you get that feeling of tightness in your shoulder blades. And you start feeling like you're being watched. Oomst. And you begin to look. You're looking at the little nooks and crannies. Um, Tiberius' villa appears to be well guarded. His, uh... But it's so dark. Uh, creepily dark. Outside of the range of their torches. Uh, in fact, so dark that you are beginning to suspect it's not natural. Oh shit, oh, shit. La Sombra. La Sombra is on the hunt. Oh shit, oh, is it the La Sombra police coming? Roll initiative. To Time to roll initiative. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I was going to say, initially, uh, I could imagine someone going, Albana, is that you? <laughs> You played a prank on us. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you want to... Are you going to open the initiative table or should we just go... Just roll me a d10 and add your wits plus dex. Alright, and celerity. Oh, oh, okay. Rolled. Bad. Oh wait, wait, is there, is there celerity in there? Oh yeah, there's celerity. Okay. No, there's not. Wait, I I'm confused. <coughs> I got this rolled an eight. Wow. 
What's your wits and dex? Uh, no, I, I rolled eight. Pl I rolled two, actually. Okay. A eight, eight is my wits plus dex plus celerity. So I rolled very bad. Not good. I suck. Like always, I do. I think that's what you were doing, doing with one of those boys last night. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> understand it. Never mind. Advanced. Back, blah, 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 blah. Why is this, this the Sombra coming here to punish me because I killed two guys? Is this the Sombra police? If this is the right. case, I'm 10, just going to 14. I just got to look up two stats here on some NPC sheets. Why would you let me add a turn? Maybe I do it on the character sheet. That's really weird. The turn order won't let me add turns. It's, <sighs> it's hard to do manually. Uh, are we doing the right click? Right click on, on the, the token. Oh, no, I think you should do it right click on the table. And then it should pop up something for you. Alright, well, let me try I this think again. Something, I think something is wrong with the tokens because they are not interactive. Um, yeah, they're not They're not working right. Alright, that's okay. I can do this manually. I just gotta look up two stats. Yeah. Roll twin is really good when it comes to D&D, but otherwise the sheets are pretty much okay-ish. Sometimes even worse. Apparently, I can't Heck type here. <laughs> Look, you're going to kill us, okay? So at least do something bad. <laughs> well, let's not be hasty. All right. <clears throat> the turn order is Septimus, Nicodemus, Agatha, uh, a Lasombra named Marcus, and then Hatshepsut. So let me grab their tokens and I will just place them on the screen in order. Wait, where's Hector? Septimus. Septimus. Ooh. Nicodemus. Sept Septimus looks. Septimus looks nice. Yes. Maybe he's not a villain. The gangrel weakness is changed, by the way. If you didn't what, know that. What do you mean? It's no longer a. Uh, aggregation of animal features. The animal feature goes away when you accept uh, a, a one on a roll before you roll it. Wait, when did this happen? In DAD 20. Oh, okay. I actually, think, I actually you accept an thing. automatic failure yeah. is what you have to accept. I, th I think there's also like supposed to be some specific circumstances where at FT discretion, it can become permanent if it's if you really mess up something. Yeah, really bad. Okay. And this is a gangria? No. Okay. You notice um, it gets darker and darker. And it's getting harder and harder to see the torches and the sky. Uh. <coughs> Um, Agatha, as you, three of you march along, um, you pass through a patch of mist. It's so cold, chills, like, whoo, whoo, that's a little bit chilly. Yeah. And before you can react, a hand with sharp, pointy claws reaches around and places the pointy claws on the tip of your throat from behind you. Okay. And the voice says, I would not go any further if I were you. Shit, it's Gangrel police, not the Sombra. Uh, sure, whatever, man. Whatever. You got the cheat, cheat tape close. Nicodemus, your turn. Uh, okay, gonna instinctively 
uh, well, instinctively, gonna gonna buff up my stats. Uh, plus two to dexterity and plus two to stum stums. Okay. Uh, You're gonna boost up to the start of the initiative then. Yeah. Uh, gonna wait up with the next uh, with the actual move and action uh, hold my turn and uh, but I can still speak uh, so Nicodemus would inquire we mean no ill intent uh, what's going on we do not wish to harm you we offer we, you this opportunity to walk away now just turn around have, and walk away. We have we held no mean we have no we held no desire to fight, uh, nor we do not wish to invade upon anyone. Uh, can you uh, can you tell us at least what crime we're we're, we're being guilty of? We are believing these are police, okay? Crime. You interfere with the actions of powerful men. Go home and mind your own business. Hat ships it. Make a uh, perception plus awareness roll, please. Apparently, you're threatening us. Let me change servers again. I can't hear anything. Do you guys hear me? I'm changing. Um, yeah, we do. Me now. Okay, servers changed again. All right. He says, uh, says to you, this is not your domain. Your words have no authority here. The men and women uh, watching over this uh, wish no interference from outside forces, which include you. Now, I would very much like to not hurt anybody. So please, go home. Is this the domain where the villa of the Tiberius is? Yeah, it looks like. Uh, what, what Nicodemus recall if it was actually someone's domain? I think it wasn't. Uh, Make because because you have to think fast here. It's going to be wits plus politics. Mm -hmm. You're thinking fast. Can I do the same thing? Can I do the same one? Um, your difficulty is going to be higher because you're not Roman. With okay. uh, Nicodemus, it's six. For you, it's eight. Okay. Wits plus politics. Six. Full power. So that's one success. All right. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going. Okay, eight. So let's see. Okay, this is the one success. I can't hear anyone. If All anyone right. Speaking. All right, Agatha, one success. Nicodemus, one success. As far as you know, no vampire has claimed the Cess domain. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. But uh, it could have happened over this, like... Don't overthink it. But it... Okay. <laughs> Don't overthink it. <laughs> Let's just... Let's just think what we think is, what we think is the best. Um, I just was... Hatchifset, did you succeed on that roll? 
Oh, sorry, I didn't. All right, we we had we oh. have had That's just it. Perception right. awareness, please. The perception awareness bottle. Yes, uh, make another one. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Hatch of set. Two shadow tentacles are currently coiling around your legs. Oh, man. Um, you are the only one not actively involved in a tense discussion. Uh, make a perception alertness roll to Does spot the shadow user. Less? Um, I would like to spend a willpower on this one. Okay, and he is modifying his... He's doing his a dex stealth roll. Uh, modified by Obtenebration. Wait, can we see through the darkness? I thought we are blind. This is not Nocturne. Okay. He is using shadow play to heighten the shadows. To draw okay. them ah, in okay. and make, the, make this darker. Yeah, well, level one. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for not making this harder than it is right Oh, now. dude, Nocturne would be incredibly noticeable. Mm. Like, it, it is not natural. <laughs> and he's got to <laughs> abide by the rules the same that you do. Mm. All right, it let's... It seems like these guys just want to stop us from achieving what we are supposed to do. One die. Yeah. All right. This is what I think. Some La Sombra and Gangrel. He got one success and one success. Um, defender wins. Or you want to do defender wins, or you can... Oh, you just spent a willpower, didn't you? No, you got two successes. Yeah. You win. There is a man um, who looks a lot like this. Oh, oh shit, this big. Um... Standing off to one side, uh, a little bit hidden, but you can see, you saw enough of him as he's attempting to move, his hands are moving, uh, kind of the way Albinus does. You've seen this enough times, you think he's the one directing the shadows. Alright, I'll keep an eye of this. Um, here's a knowledge question. Um... S cattle politics, I don't know. Um, how likely would these two respond, would these two be to respond to being told that this is Prince business? You have never seen this, the shadow user before in your life. You don't know Septimus well enough to answer that question. You can give Fair. it a try. Uh, I, I assume we all know it's Septimus, right? If not seen, I can recognize him by the voice? Oh, yes. You, you guys recognize his voice. Um, Agatha, you're probably the only one who doesn't recognize him. Well, it, here's, I suppose, the more important question. If I mentioned the prince's involvement and it didn't work, what's the likelihood that the prince, that Camilla would be angry about that no about none because uh, uh remember he set this for you guys as a test to see if you could handle it yeah mm. so maybe this is a test <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe this is a test but, Who knows? but like he doesn't want us to keep necessarily keep this super secret well i would assume that most of you guys and most of the vampiric community know that he is heavily involved in mortal politics. That I mean, that's mm. common knowledge. Yeah, okay. Fair. It's more, are they going to buy off that you, are you his clients, or are you just there? Alright, oh, wow. so, how, how we'll just, um, trying to avoid giving the indication that she's noticed the, um, Okay, first, trying to avoid giving off the indication that she's noticed the La Sombra. Um, she'll look to set, uh, look around, see, you know, does it look like there are too many people around? Or is, is it just that? Does it look like there's no witnesses? 
in case anything does happen. Um, you guys are just off of a main street. Uh, you can see the front of this villa, and being a prominent politician, it's a prominent open area. Um, they they chose their spot well. You you can't really make do a lot of supernatural stuff here. Um, but there's uh, very close areas where you can run away. Gotcha. Um. So she'll probably she she'll not um yeah words. Bips just Chris. in case, just in case she'll put as she says as she looks over to Septimus, she'll. Linger one one ha arm around the area uh, where she keeps a knife, a enchanted knife holstered. Um, not drawing it yet, or even motioning to draw it. Um, she'll just say, "But bold of uh, whoever it is, you and whoever it is you represent to interfere with the prince's business." Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> you feel as Agatha, you feel his fingers flex a little bit as he as he kind of chuckles. It says, uh, "Bold of you to assume that I'm not here with permission." That's better. That's better response. Interesting. Hey. Hmm, indulge me a bit first before we go. What precisely are you interested in here? I'm interested in having a peaceful night without having to clean my claws off. Um, oh, of course there's that, but I meant more broadly with... I... Uh, forgive me if I'm doubtful that this is purely about us being in your domain. <laughs> my domain? I never said my domain. Take that as a take that as a broader your than you or whoever it is you're working for. Why won't you tell us whose domain is this? Last time I checked, it wasn't. It's, I wonder what the prince would say were to become known to him that someone usurps uh, the right to acquire domains in his, in, in, without his blessing. I believe he would say that he who can hold on to it deserves it. Yeah, he, pro he probably would Again? say that. Against the acknowledge, against uh, uh, without the formal acknowledgement. Hmm, how interesting. But but in all seriousness, just just at least tell tell us this much. This is this is about the Gracchus Gracchi politician, is it, is it not? Oh yes, it is. You see, I am uh, represent a faction that desires him to fail. Octavius? No, Gra Gracchus. Gra Gracchus, okay. And therefore, they have asked me to make sure that he receives little to no help from outside. I happen to know that you are here to help him, and I desire that not to happen. So please... For all of our sakes, turn around and go home. Is... This will be the last time I ask you. The last okay, time. Okay, okay. We'll... Go home. Will it? Will it? My but, turn yet? But please indulge us. Why? Why would you want him to fail? It's not my turn. Okay. <clears throat> um, Agatha, he begins applying backwards pressure to your neck. Um, he is walking. He is walking backwards and dragging 
So if you don't want his claws to penetrate your neck, you're going to have to walk backwards with him. Right. Can, can I do something? Is this my turn yet? Yes, you can. You've always been able to act. Just say what you want. Okay, I just want to activate Majesty. I'm going to activate Prison Spy. Okay. And I'm going to say, as I activate it, please release your, your clothes and you know, release me from your clothes and take it one step back. With very calm but commanding words. page uh, 238. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, <clears throat> he releases you, steps backwards, out of the way. Nice. Then I'm going to celebrate your attack. And well, no. we are we are going to the top of the order. Nicodemus, what are you doing? He releases you, steps backwards. Can I also boost my stats, by the way, while it was my turn? Sure. Okay. I'm going to boost my dexterity by four. No, I'm actually going to boost by five. Uh, what's the escalation currently? Can I sense any intent? What's going um, to happen? It is unbelievable. Oh, it's getting hostile. It, it's it, the fight's happening now. Uh, Agatha just dropped a bomb in the middle of the avenue. Um, everybody who can see her, which is all of the guards, um, the all of you. By the way, you uh, have trouble pulling your eyes off of her because she's an incredible distraction. Um, all of you want to just. Bow, basically bow down and you, it's taking everything you have not to just fall at her feet uh, 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 okay uh, so we're being seen by the mortal guards right oh if yes we start doing shit it's going to be messy mm -hmm. um can i position myself to affect everyone with the hopefully even the unseen la sombra uh, with uh, the Peacekeeper Aura, without uh, these uh, the guards noticing the open eye. You can turn around so they can't see you. Well, they can. I mean, they can see the back of your head. They won't be able to see the front. Okay, I'm going to try this. All right, I'm going to roll. If this D100 roll is less than 20, there's a couple of witnesses further down the alley, just regular mortals. All right. As far as you guys are you aware, say? the only people who can see you now are the guards outside of Tiberius's mm -hmm. villa. <laughs> and they are swiftly making their way here to uh, prostrate themselves at Agatha's feet. Jesus. Uh, yeah, okay, they are. You know what you need to do now, Agatha, don't you? Oh yeah, I know what I am going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm tired of fucking aggravated weapons pointed at my neck. Alright. So Nicodemus is activating Peacekeeper Aura. Yeah. Uh, there will be no violence today. We shall part our ways. For four turns, I believe. Uh, All right. <laughs> so they're basically rolling a pathetic uh, uh, versus road six. All right. So go ahead and make your roll. Or did you make it? I don't it? roll anything. You don't roll anything. All right. They roll. Valerian, Valerian, Valerian. Do, 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 do. Damn. I love this power. I really love this power. I'd love to explore it more. I think it's really powerful once you have like high road score, if I remember yeah. correct. But if you have a low road score, it's kind of <coughs> shitty. 
because it's very easy to just ignore. All right, so stiff six. Um, Septimus is acting next. He has to make a willpower roll to do an offensive action, which he succeeds. He's making an animalism roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Poss possibly more. I gotta look up animalism. Aspects. Oh, give me a moment. Animalism. Please. I will be, be right back. Hello, I'm back. Alright, so with four successes. He says something in rat, and about 200 chubby, freaking, clawy, teeth-biting rats come pouring out of the alleyways, down the walls, uh, up out of the gutters, uh, come streaming, whoosh, all converging. Rats aren't affected by majesty. Are they affected by Peacekeeper? They are not. Oh, no. Oh, I, I it. To... You understood this. Um, Septimus called out, My rat brethren! Attack the warrior with long hair! She, she will eat and destroy your brothers! And about 200 rats come pouring. <laughs> brown, furry, mud-covered wave comes pouring out oh, and uh, begins to climb and claw all over her. And to, be, so to understand this, we are dealing with Elder Gangrel, right? <laughs> he used animalism too. Uh, okay. There's to summon though, right? It's not Call the wild. Them. Yeah, but you summon them, right? You don't command them. You need to speak to them. He didn't command them. He called out to them. My brethren, right, okay. she's going to attack you. She's going to beat you. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm going to respond to that. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't make them attack you. They wanted to attack you. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm, I, I'm not saying mm -hmm. otherwise. Right. Um, yeah, so they pour over you, just like. And now, here come these two guards, seeing this beautiful goddess... Let's let's see if they're intelligent enough not to do what they're about to do to you. Rape me? What? They are not. They take what out their clubs and they begin trying to beat the rats off of you. Okay. How many rats is top on top of you? You are covered head to toe, and there's more in the area. People are stepping on them. You can hear their little backs breaking, their little squeaks, squeak, 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 squeak. Ah, so okay. stomp, stomp, stomp. Uh, People go, get them off of me! You're, they're all curled up in your hair, and they're biting at your face, and they're clawing at your uh, clothes. Okay. They can't get through your fortitude. They ain't really, or they're not really hurting you. They are hindering me. But they are definitely hindering you. And yes. the two guards are going to go last in the order. But okay. I'm going to tell you now, they're going to attempt to beat the rats off of you, which might actually hurt you. Because right, they're stupid. The, the sheer of Sheer amount of rits does not prevent some of the damage not being absorbed by me. Uh, it'll prevent because a little bit, but not are... that much. Onwards, okay. Agatha, you are covered in rats. All you can see is rat fur. All you can feel is rats right. crawling on you. So here's what I'm going to do. First, first you are going to make a courage roll. Okay. Um, and because you're a Bruja, it's a difficulty five. Gotcha. Oh, oh, yeah, it applies they to... They roll attack uh, under Peacekeeper. They roll against Frenzy of Zomo. This, this, isn't ho um, this isn't hostile, but I think you're right. So it'll be going to be Def 3 for you, then. Okay. Which I would still fail with my luck. No, no failure ah. there. Okay. Outstanding roll. You keep your... You don't panic. Um, right. 
So as rather you... than clawing, clawing myself, screaming, etc., I am just standing there calmly. Yeah. So what a, you have the opportunity to direct what you're going to do. Yes. Um, I want to first. So are you going to use celerity? Yes, I'm going to use. Celerity. How many celerity actions are you going to use? Yeah. I'm not going to use it to actually do an action. So okay, so you're not using celerity just, just for regular. Yeah. Let me explain. Um, I want to, if there is essentially a place, and this is not like some end of the road thing, I want to use my celerity to boost my speed and get the fuck out. Your celerity already boosts your speed. I know. I, I can double my speed using celerity, if you remember. I can like go at 100 meters per turn. But that's kind of basically thing. has extra actions, yes. All right, you're using celerity to boost out. No, no. Nobody's going to be able to stop you. It's actually not like using actions. You just spend one blood to activate this. And you're by celerity rating plus one, which is essentially four. My speed okay. is multiplied by that. Okay. And it, if, if I run, essentially my run speed is 44 yards, meters right now. And it's per turn. multiplied by four. Okay. You are literally outpacing all you are literally doubling you're you're more than doubling the speed of world-class athletes uh i am going to combine with your majesty what do you think this is going to do to the two morals so looking at you i will, I will close the measures thing right now i think it I don't have to focus myself to close the No, nope, you just drop it. Yeah, I will just drop Majesty and get the fuck out from there. Okay, you're gone. Nobody can stop you. Yep, I, I'm going from the fight. I, I, I'm tired of fighting, honestly. Sorry, guys. I, you know, no, no, out of character. Now, to be I'm honest, okay for you. you easily outrun the rats. And it will take you, if you use all celerity for extra actions, it will take you about two rounds to get rid of them. Get rid of the rats. Yes, if you use... So, three rounds total. This round plus two more, all the rats will be gone. But is it permanently gone or just temporarily gone? Well, for the fight. For the fight, okay. I mean, they're not going to follow uh, you around Rowan the rest of your life. I just imagine her, like, opening her cupboards, like... And just one of them just what staring at her. Yeah. Not even going to attack, just like, you know what you did. Yes. Uh, but I have to, I, I will ask this again. Out of character, are you guys okay if I leave the fight? I, I, I go, uh, is there, will there be like some personal feelings or anything? I just want to be clear. Out of character? No. Well, what about you, Hat? Look, I mean. Out of character? No. In character, maybe. Okay. Alright, um... Look, I'm... Okay, I'm not going to run away. I'm not going to run away. I'm going to select to multiple actions. Okay. And I kind of don't care about the masquerade at this point, because I'm facing with a lot Sombra and Gangria. So if I... If I fail, I die. If I don't fail, sure, I will have to deal with masquerade breach. Whatever. It's shit at the both end of the stick. So I'm going to use all of my celerity actions, not just one. Okay. So I used uh, previously. So I you used, have three uh, celerity, right? I have three celerity. Okay. I can take three multiple actions. Um, so I used previously six blood. Uh, no, sorry. I have seven right now. I have two dexterity normal. So that's five, right? No. I have seven de dexterity. Yeah, I used five blood points. So I will mark off that immediately. Uh, that was previous round. For okay. this round, I'm going to spend blood to do some other stuff. Okay. Clear. So what you're spending blood for? You're yeah. activating I'm celerity. Spending, What's your yeah, reaction? Uh, one blood for celerity. Um, my action is to, like you said, get rid of the reds. Okay, um, you begin grabbing, pulling, crushing. Rah, rah, rah. Uh, it's yeah, basically going to take you, by yourself, two rounds of doing nothing but this to get rid of them. Two runs, not actions. 
two rounds. That's a total. That's eight actions. Holy shit. I, I've got something that might help speed it up a bit. All right, but we will get there. Uh, I'm, uh, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, we're going to get there. I'm running away. Agatha I'm running away. is not running away as per... I'm. Don't change your action again. This is your last chance. What are you doing? Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Whatever. No, I'm running. Okay, okay. I, go, uh, I go down. 176. Agatha vacates the combat. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to die. The Lasombra moves... Uh, basically, he doesn't move. He say, he is holding his action because he wants to see what's going to happen. Uh, I will say he's probably going to want to take care of the mortals, and he will erase their memory of this. Hatchips it. What are you doing? All right. Since since I don't need to deal with the um, since it seems like um. The target of the rats is going away and it's running off anyway. I'm not gonna do what I was planning there. Um, instead, I'm going to buff Dex and um, having given no indication of seeing him before now, um, I'm going to draw a, a, an enchanted, my enchanted knife and throw it straight out of the Lasombra. Okay, he is behind cover. <clears throat> this is going to make it very difficult. Uh, it's going to be dexterity plus athletics. Throwing a knife is at plus one difficulty anyways, because it's not designed to be thrown. And he's under cover. Pretty good cover, actually. Oh, okay. I think Mate. this is going to make it up to diff nine. Ooh, should I? Ooh. No, I won't. Okay, I'll scratch that plan then. I I am still going to draw the knife, however, because uh, I know that the tentacles are around my feet. Um. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to do which I was planning to do originally to deal with the, rat, with the rats, and, well, the rats might still be around, and even if not, uh, well, enough of them will probably still be around. To, uh, they they to are it. chasing Agatha, and they are very swiftly falling behind. <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, are you going to try to command them? Oh, not, not, not the rats, no. My plan was to use uh, animalism to myself, and tell all the owls in the area, I found you dinner. <laughs> Good one. Go ahead and make the roll if you want to do that. Oh shit! She calls oh, out man. an owl. She calls it out an owl. Ring a ding ding. The dinner bells. The dinner bells ringing. Ringing. Come and get it. This is getting really anime right now. Anime shit. Or more likely, like the vultures in the uh, Ice Age two, food. Glorious food. Watch as I bought. <laughs> no? Yeah, that's good. That's like a lot. Now let's hope there are, there are owls in the urban environment. Uh, a number of predator birds, not just owls, appear. Um, and begin to dive bomb the area, taking out rats. <laughs> Not enough to take out all 200 of them, but uh, enough to make several of them run away in fear. Yeah, um, I can almost imagine, uh, if it wasn't for the situation being as chaotic as it was, I can just almost imagine at looking over at the gang and being like, did you really think you're the only one with animal powers, wolf boy? All right. The uh, two tentacles are going to wishbone you, Hatchipsit. Oh, not the guards, okay. They're going to pull your legs away like a wishbone. Oh, uh, I... Oh, I did mention that I was buffing attributes, yeah? You said dex, yep. Ouch. What else? Um, How much dex? <laughs> what else did you do? 
So I, I'll I'll try and remember to specify more clearly in future. Three to deck, three to stamina is okay. what I go wow. with right now. Is that, is that okay? That is understandable. Is it, are the tentacles doing shit at hostile action? The tentacles are pulling Hatchips' legs apart, one in each direction. Like you would do to break a wishbone. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, but is that a mental action from the La Sombra? Nope. The tentacles act on their own. Okay, that's fair. Physical action. I've broken the wishbone enough times to know what they're trying to do. All right. <laughs> that's why I said ouch. <laughs> All right, they attack with one, two, three successes. So they're rolling strength plus two. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to multiply it by two. So they have a strength of five, a potence of three. So that's eight, ten. One, two, three, four. Soak, uh, we're going to call this bashing. Soak eight bashing. All right. Soak, 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 there it is. Uh, there's no armor for this, so it's just stamina plus fortitude. Okay. So, you take four, divide in two, round down. You take two bashing, and you are now lying flat on your pelvis, either on your back or on your face, you decide. Uh, as the two tentacles snap apart and your legs go 90 degrees, once, uh, making you do a 180 degree gymnast split. And you feel things pop that are not supposed to pop. And you go down. Give me a re. Uh, you're going to hold it. You got enough decks and athletics. You're not going to let go of your knife. You hold on to it. E. <clears throat> Only two bashing. Yes, only two. Yeah, uh, I'm just imagining it going, Bitch, I do this to myself sometimes. <laughs> she rolls in ecstasy instead. <clears throat> will that will that make the sombra roll for anything? Just no. Not get angry. Okay. All right. He uh, apparently does nothing. Top of the turn order, Nicodemus, you're up. Uh. Nicodemus approaches uh, Hatshepsut. Um, he still has his arms uh, spread out in like peaceful gesture and declares, "We're departing. There's no point in this." And so he comes to Hatshepsut to help her up and try to pull her away from the fight. Uh, the tentacles let you go. As long as you're leaving, they have no reason to keep you here. Uh, that will go along, then. Come on, girl. You'll get them next time. <clears throat> as you leave, you see Septimus step up, and he pop, pop, pops the guards. Um... Uh, and drags them both over to the La Sombra. And if you stick around long enough, he erases their memory of this whole fight. Makes sense. Some pretty weird shit happened. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good outcome, actually. Let's save us from Hesso. Um... Now we know their existence. They can try to ambush us next time. They better be successful. Oh well, he did mention a faction, so there may be more of them. Sure, whatever. But we know that there is target on us now, so... They per se, they target, do. it's like... Ward. Tiberius is on um, reach. I'm not sure... Uh, 
if there's anything else oh. um, planned for the moment. But um, we will. We will. I, let's wrap this up so you can get off of here. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys retreat back. We will fast forward. Tiberius is voted in with an overwhelming victory. Um, you, I am sure you do send your apologies. Uh, you were waylaid on the way to see him, and you promise you'll make it up to him. Uh, and, of course, I'm sure you send your congratulations. Uh, would that be accurate? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Sounds yeah. about right. So, we'll pick this up in two weeks. You have helped get him elected. Now comes the even harder part of insinuating yourself into his life and helping him be successful in his term. Continue. Yeah. So, good job, everybody. Get an experience point for tonight. Uh, I will give... Tell you what. Yeah, let's just leave it there. And uh, let me say I was highly impressed that uh, you guys knew when to be like, you know what, this is uh, this is too much trouble and this is a fight not worth having. <laughs> so. Yep, let's don't grind the gang real. I'm not going to deal with that and bunch of this. So I will say Nicodemus, Agatha, Hatchips it. Um, you guys get plus one experience towards either self control, uh, self control or uh, instinct for making the cool. reasonable call here. Thank you. I'm going to check the experience cost for it, instant. Uh, current rating times two. Okay. I'm buying my second dot in instinct then. I'm okay with that. Alright guys, thanks for coming. See you in two weeks. You guys have Thank a great you. evening. I'll be on for a little bit if you need to talk for anything. Bye. 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 Thanks yeah. for the session. Okay, guys, there you have it. Episode 73 in the books. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, getting pretty political up in here. Lots of strategizing. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, sessions where they're just get a chance to bounce ideas off of each other and work a few things, and hopefully uh, maybe those things are successful. So... We'll hopefully see you again here in two weeks. Thank you, and have a great evening.